Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are back again with Battletech Extended 3025 Commander's Edition. On the previous stream, we did incredible things. We took on so many flashpoints that it would make your all of your beholder eyes bleed. <laughs> That's a little joke for Friend of Entropy there. And I gotta say that we did a really, really, really great job. Things got a little dicey at times, but everything turned out just fine. So, with today being Thursday's stream, we've got a choice to make. But first, we gotta get into a proper warm-up with a little bit of a test subject solo duo. <laughs> All right, bunnies, we're going to start our warm up mission by getting into our very first duel of the night. We'll go ahead and get the bets rolling. It's five minutes on the clock. And let's see if you've got the faith. We're bringing in our bunny god. It has barely any weapons at all, but boy, can it jump. And when it jumps, hopefully it will actually connect. <laughs> so we'll do our very best to take on this one. And at the same time, we'll also let the bunnies decide what they want to do today we'll also run a poll simultaneously while we kick it so let's go ahead and run it and heck yes oh heck yes two years well almost two years in this happy place oh my god friend thank you so much for the resub that's insane 22 months man very very good to have you here all right let's see what we got here we go commander you're all set up to be recorded and analyzed. It's time to show them a thing or two, Commander. All right, bunnies. Hey, Zarvak. If, if you do want to get a vote in, you do have to do an exclamation vote. And if it's a... Oh, there we go. There we go. It took, it took, it took. All right, what do we got? We've got 60 tons. Oh, we outton this guy by a little bit. <laughs> I think we should be a-okay. Here comes the bunny god. He's just going to be sprinting all day long. Data King full sprint. We've got our vigilance. Let's go ahead and pull on forward. I realize that I blasted you with a bunch of boat votes and bets and things like that. So half and half. All right. Sounds good. So we'll go ahead and start off with a flashpoint. And then after that, we'll go ahead and check the time. And then right around like 830 or so, we'll go ahead and pull again. So thanks so much for weighing in, bunnies. I really appreciate it. But first, we gotta do this. All right, bunnies, we're gonna be coming in from on high. <laughs> in three, two, and one. Get up, done, son. All right, both of the legs hitting both of the torsos, 20 left on both sides, and the small laser, the middle finger of doom. There can be only one darn straight Tetra. We're jumping straight in tonight. <laughs> darn straight we are. All right, vigilance up. And we'll come in from on high in three, two, and one. Get up, Ton Sun. <laughs> this, guy, this guy's probably like, how am I still alive? I have no idea. And I wasn't even talking about the DFA. <laughs> Holy crap, where's he going? Where's he going? I'm surprised he's still standing. Shot straight to the back. It was looking a little rough right now. How are our legs doing? We still have 102 on both sides. All right, vigilance. And go. Get up, on son. <laughs> Third time's a charm, bunnies. Third time's a charm. All right, heck yes. Will the Bunny League win the battle without pilot losses? That is a resounding... Yes, congratulations to those who had the faith. And there we go, bunnies. I expect to see a lot more of those moves in the future. Guess we should be ready for that ourselves. All right, bunnies, total win, total win. Thank you so much for the bets. Thank you so much for the votes. I gotta say that it is the Bunny League participation that makes us all sore. Well, that was quick. Darn straight. We had no other strategies to keep in mind except jump, jump and jump <laughs> all right 696 let's see what we got our at 240 experience data king got a little bit to his name late to the game but dfa is always always a win darn street and we got a piece of a dragon all right <laughs> uh bunnies did you notice something have you seen the loot table there was only a dragon part <laughs> oh 
<laughs> there was so much jumping. There was only a dragon part. There wasn't even a, an AC5. There was nothing. Just one dragon part. What the heck? Wow, you already have a mission win. <laughs> and that's all that was left. And holy crap, Batsu. Bunny man. Bunny man indeed. Bonsu, thank you so much for the resub. We really appreciate it. And welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we just concluded our warm-up solo duo with the Data King one smashing all of the op four flat with his bunny toes. So bunnies, we took a quick poll right in the very beginning. We decided that we are going to burn through a flashpoint about 8:30 or so, about an hour and a half from now. We'll go ahead, take another poll, see where we're at. And then we'll figure out whether or not we want to do something else or push on forward. All right. We could also, uh, we'll just see what we're going to do. Uh, I didn't even think I was that late. Bunny, be quick. Hit him too hard. Only some actuators left. Darn straight. All right, bunnies. So we're going to be starting off with a flashpoint. You got to remember that we are trying to flush out two kid. Haven't had much luck yet. Uh, the bunnies uh, said that we're going to start with a flashpoint. So right now we are currently at... Unwelcome guest, a four skull difficulty flashpoint. It's a tough one. Sounds like it's got a target acquisition in there. Uh, down below, we've got red hunt. And then over to the right, we've got head hunting. So these three are in our way. Hopefully one day we'll see a flashpoint spawn up here. But in the meantime, let's get right into our very first one. Here we go. All of HP's luck has gone to getting headshots. <laughs> That's true. Have not found two key yet, unfortunately. All right, what do we got? Mr. Olivera, Commander Okiro, welcome to Zion. As you have no doubt noted, this system falls within the borders of the Free Worlds League. Unfortunately, our neighbors in the Lyran Commonwealth have elected to violate those borders. The Lyrans, huh? Well, that's unexpected. I mean, the last I'd heard it was House Liao that was agitating for control of this region. The truth of the matter is, we've had no end of trouble pacifying this system. Still, we are obligated to try, and this makes House Steiner's recent encroachment all the more troubling. They've even had the temerity to build a military stronghold on the planet's surface. And you want us to destroy that stronghold? Yes, but you won't be able to do it on your own. The entire structure has been hardened to the point of comedy. House Steiner has a great many faults, but underpreparing for conflict has never been among them. Well, from your mouth to the gaunt's ears, what kind of support can you provide us? Our long tom batteries will be at your disposal. You'll also be supported in the field by Gwydi and Company, a mercenary outfit from the Duchy of Tamarind. They'll hold the LCAF's attention while your lands places targeting beacons for our artillery. You're going to need their help. Because of the timetable for this mission, you are going to want to run a swift, low tonnage lance. <laughs> sure. And as previously mentioned, Steiner defenses tend to run heavy. Look, I don't want to talk us out of a job, but why can't you just lob a couple of dozen shells at the stronghold without marking it? That's a static target, so you can shell it with impunity. That we could, if we didn't care about the subsistence farmers living in the tropical forests that surround the structure. We are not like our Capellan neighbors. House Merrick will not wash its hands in the blood of the innocent. This artillery strike must be surgical. It must be precise. No collateral damage. You got it. I mean, we'll try. Good. And with that, Commander, I will take my leave of you. I shall eagerly await the report of your victory. All right, bunnies. You heard the man, so let's get to it. Apparently, he wants no collateral damage. Not so sure that we can, you know, abide by that part of the contract, but the contract's waiting for approval, Vane. Hit it up when you're ready. We'll get the job rolling. All right, bunnies, we know what we got to do. We got to get in there for that target acquisition mission. Apparently, he says that we've got to bring in a whole light lance or something. I don't even know what that means. For that. <laughs> so we'll be going in on this four and a half skull difficulty target acquisition. Well, might as well go with three pick 12 here. It might be a little bit tough. We'll go and pull back with a bunny gone. You know, for this, we definitely have to go a little bit light. So we're just going to bring our um, we'll just bring something that's 95 tons. It's not quite a full hundred tons. <laughs> no collateral damage. <laughs> hey, Dulas, welcome, welcome. Low tonnage, as in a Steiner Scoutlands tonnage. I know, it's not 800 tons, uh, obviously. Oh, we've got the thing going. My Chancellor is innocent. It is the Blue Fisted Group Scouting Merrick again. <laughs> All right. 
Hey, to be your welcome. They dock you if any buildings fall down and go boom. The easy way to avoid collateral damage, designate everything as a target. Darn straight. And I will definitely check it out, Cyber. Let's just get this loaded. Uh, let's see, where are we at? We've got our Masakari Prime. That's a little lighter, right? That's kind of fast. Although, let's see, we got Chappie. Chappie has been doing a pretty good job when it comes to being in a die sheet. So I kind of feel like we should get him into the pretty safe here. We got Chappie. We got Big Brick. Uh, we've got, although Big Brick would be nice in the Masakari. Uh, we probably want to bring some missiles as well. The last time that we did this, we didn't really have any missile support. Things got a little, a little dicey, right? So we'll go ahead and grab Shidian. And then finally, in not as safe, uh, we'll go in and grab Mech. There we go. Just need to hold out another two hours. Oh, heck yes. Well, you know what? We'll be here in those two hours, Darn Street. 395 ton Lance would sound light to me. <laughs> you, <laughs> you know, Superior, I think we're going to really, really hold to the spirit of things and go 365 tons. Heck yes. This is a target acquisition run, Commander. We're going to mark House Steiner's unauthorized military base for destruction. And Merrick Artillery will handle the rest. You'll need to get our mechs to the three zones marked on your map. Plant targeting beacons and then get back out again. Our mechs will need to hold their positions in the target zones while they plant the beacons. You'll also need to be sure the regions are not contested by puny little blue-fisted forces. You'll be on a short timetable, so splitting your lance is recommended. The Op 4 will also have you badly outgunned. Did I mention that you will also not be getting any ramen rations at all? And on top of that, our RC Cola will be running a little bit low. And on top of that, it's going to be raining sunshine and unicorns. But thankfully, our employer is sending Gwydion Company to assist. What is your ETA, Gwydion Actual? That'll depend on your people in the field. We got a Leopard en route, but the Op 4 just brought anti-air turrets online. We're going to need you to shut down their generator before we can even attempt a landing. Roger that, Karen A. We got you. Olivera out. All right, bunnies. It looks like we're going to have to rip apart that turret generator. We're going full sprint ahead, full speed, full speed. And let us go. ETA on the unicorns, hopefully sooner rather than later. Oh, the, we're up against the Lyran regulars? Oh, my. Well, they've definitely got to bring big stuff, right? We've got a 65 tonner on the side here. Let's go ahead and get Chappy. He's all in line. Since he's out in the open, we're going to use Vigilance to keep him safe and sent. More than enough. Anti-aircraft generator and unicorns have arrived. <laughs> Darius cheated us. He lied. What's new? All right. What do we got? Thanks for handling those turrets, Commander. Now it's our turn to return the favor. Your unicorns have arrived. Oh, thank you, Commander Unicorn. We appreciate the assist. I'll bet you do. You just focus on getting those artillery beacons planted and Gwynny and company will handle the rest. Master Unicorn, out. All right. Well, now that the unicorns are here, I feel completely safe. Uh, quite frankly, I, I knew that their cousins, the Narwhal, over in... Oh, is there clan... Is there a clan Narwhal? <laughs> if there's clan unicorn and Narwhal, I would say that they were the, probably the most dastardly duo clans in the entire inner sphere. How's Chappie hit that? So not ahead. <laughs> Toothless. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So standard, Bunny Day. Darn straight. We're just getting all those unicorns together. Well, let's go ahead and pull ourselves forward in the not as safe. Get those pips, get into cover. We've got, looks like some sort of. Oh, we got Jaeger Mex as an ally. Hopefully, we'll be tanking for him. There's that Crusader with a fifth Lyran regulars, obviously. A little bit. So, if a scout is an Atlas for Steiner. Then what is the Crusader of a, a gnat? <laughs> Clan Unicorn, take it by the horse. <laughs> That's amazing, Lorendo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're just starting on our very first Flashpoint for the night. And right after this, we're going to take another poll and see where we stand. Flee. Oh, flee. Oh, well, is, um, if we've got a flee, then it's got targeting baffles. It should be pretty good. Rhinos, rhinos, rhinos. I have yet to see a stone rhino. Those things are crazy. Bunnies, Stone Rhino Matar, if I recall correctly, are they related or are they the same thing? I don't quite recall, yeah? A mobile missile launcher? Oh, 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 wait, the Rhino? Are we talking about the same thing? I know in Warhammer 40k, it was a whirlwind, right? You could stick giant pie plates of explosions down on the table. Crusaders are there to watch. A genius demands an audience. Oh my god, yes! I love it! I love that you... I love that you pump up our ego. <laughs> 
All right, and send. Send a smattering. We've got a beautiful, beautiful three PPCs on the connect and Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg is on out there, and he'll just send a full volley. So much for the spectators. <laughs> All right. Matar is a pirate hero. Stone. Right. Oh, seriously? I didn't know it was specific to the pirates. My bad. This whole time, because we've seen a Matar before uh, when we took on super heavies in Rogue Tech, but that was about the only time, and the Matar wasn't even one of the super heavies. All right, Chappie. Well, sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. All right. <laughs> How does Chappie do it? I have no idea. You know, I... I... Yeah, all right. It's very good having Chappie here. Wrong t wrong place, wrong time to just sit and watch. Well, he was watching. And now he's at the bottom of the ocean, like Davy, like uh, Davy Jones' locker. Man, what I wouldn't be... What I wouldn't give to be a locker. I bet you'd have a bunch of nice stuff inside, right? Heck yes. All right. Hey, Avid. Welcome, 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 Raiders. If you're joining us right now, we're currently in our very first flashpoint of the night and we're going to be pushing it on as soon as we finish this one in this four skull difficulty target acquisition we're going to go ahead and take another poll and see what we want to do uh, hopefully you had a wonderful wonderful stream and welcome to the bunny league the griffin is having a very bad day yeah ppc to the head a little bit of a breach to the middle kind of a bit of a donut after that but they're doing pretty well you know they they popped off one of those boom boxes off the side of the catapult overall and they Look, the Lyrans brought a stinger. <laughs> what are they going to do with that? Stream was great. Hello, 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 bunnies. What were you playing, Avid? I'm glad that you had a good time, yeah? Chappie's on the right side of fate. Oh, <laughs> such a cute picture. Thank you so much. We got 40. And you know what? What if... All right, we're just, we're just going to play this. Uh, we're going to try and hit the stinger. Not sure how successful we'll be. It's mech. We'll send a regular shot and go. Oh, that, that, that wasn't bad. <laughs> I did a live music stream playing bass and take... Holy crap, Avid! I didn't know you played bass. That's awesome. Heck yes. What's that redemption command? Oh, are you talking about redeem info? It's exclamation redeem underscore info. You can also see it down below in the description. One of the... the I think it's under chat rules. Uh, there's a... Heck yes. The bunnies gave me the thunder. There's also a section there that, that shows you the exclamation, yeah? Hey, Mac. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're currently in our very first flashpoint of the night. Right after this one, we're going to go ahead and take another poll to see what we'd like to do. Because so far, the early bunnies have said that they would like to go half and half on this one. And then it looks like it'll be up to the bunny man to, uh, to farm as many flashpoints as he can off stream before the next one, yeah? All right, Masakari up. We should probably start shifting over to this side. Uh, we've got how many rounds? Six rounds. So we should... <laughs> I forgot about the objectives. <laughs> uh, what's new? Archer four. Beautiful, beautiful hits. Hey, Lornald. Welcome back. How are you doing, man? Yes, All right, we got a Blitzkrieg. Tuck in a cover and send. On this next turn, we have to designate one of our bunnies to sprint. I'm thinking that we're going to probably want to grab our Masakani to sprint on this way and then we're gonna charge with chat should we charge with chappy <laughs> should chappy be our fast runner to charge <laughs> all right ah uh, dang thought i finally had enough carrots i was wrong on how much i had what were you looking for avid and holy crap lorna thank you so much for using your twitch prime on us i really appreciate it and Hi, thank you so much hi uh, indeed thank you so much for the reset for seven months I'm going to hit you with a big animal time. <laughs> Do you know what animal time is? Have you ever seen it before? I'm, I'm pretty sure in recently, in uh, just the last few streams, I think we've done it like twice, yeah? What if we just destroyed the building with our light lance? <laughs> I don't think it works that way. I would really like it if that were the case. I think it takes something like... I think when that, that giant long tom hits, it does like 7,500 points of damage across every single building, yeah? Chappie is meat shield. I have a store of noodle for my ramen packets in the sick bay. Oh, heck yes. I have it. I've only seen the bunny hat get... Oh, serious. All right. Well, fair enough. I mean, do you need a... Do you do you want to know what it is? <laughs> but you know what? I'm totally okay. Thanks so much for even wanting to redeem it. Yeah. Let's go ahead. We've got Chappie. 
he's just going to start sprinting in. We, we're on the uh, out here. Vigilance up to keep him safe. We got that Thunderbolt. What we're going to do, we're actually going to use our Master Attack to take a volley of shots, and then we're going to cycle ourselves over into the, uh, the target zone, yeah? I think Chappie should ju be just fine. Can you imagine? Wait, here's the question. We should probably make sure that we can reach the target in time. Let's see. So this will take... Well, let me... I'm just going to guesstimate here. We'll sprint one, sprint two, sprint three, sprint four, sprint five... We have five rounds. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It'll take me a while since my streaming is sleeping overlap with a lot of your stream, but I'll get there. Oh, heck yes. Asking you <laughs> already. All right, bunnies. Well, apparently animal time has been redeemed. So thank you so much, Joke. I really appreciate the redemption. I will be right back because it takes a little bit to get there. So give me one moment. Thank you so much for the redemption. All right, bunnies, we are back. Thank you so much for the animal time redemption joke. I don't know if this is all going to fit. All right, we have... <laughs> Every time. Oh, this is... This is uh, the beans. Oh, my. All right, here we go. Gosh, it's like a, an amoeba on my head. What can I say? All right, let's see. Where are we at? So we were trying to decide whether or not Chappie's actually going to make it in time. I'm not too sure if he's going to be able to do it. So maybe, just maybe, we should sprint our Masakani over there. And we'll go ahead and move our Nana safe over to the right. So let's go ahead and get Mech. He'll take a shot. Nail that Archer. All right, good, good hits. <laughs> All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we'll go in and cycle him over. Here we go. We'll cross out. He's going to take full value here. All Steiner units, focus your fire on the mech with the beacons. They're marking us for artillery bombardment. Keep moving, keep moving. Come on. So we've already lost one ally. We still have three for Gwydi and company. We'll have to see how they do. So the Masakari is probably going to be the one to take take the cake. It's the fastest that we've got, so he's going to be sprinting forward. Big Brick is going to be tanking for us today. Shinny is going to go ahead and start moving. Can we... Well, I guess we'll just step up here. I didn't realize a Neuro Helmet was a part of Animal Time. Yes, it is. It's a whole package. Darn straight. The bunnies for helping me witness this beauty. <laughs> As I always say, I would love to spend more time with you all. HBFTGA bunny love. Avid, thank you so much for the cheers. Thank you so much for the sentiment. And I'm glad that Joke and the bunnies were able to uh, fulfill your desire to see what Animal Time actually is. And and this is what it is. <laughs> Commander, your window of opportunity for the strike is closing. Move quickly and place the beacons before the Lyrans turn their own artillery on us. All right, keep moving. I didn't. Does anyone know what sound a raccoon makes? Apparently, kaboom. <laughs> that made no sense. I know, but you know what? It's fine. Actually, Raven and I have been seeing this little tiny opossum that has been coming into our backyard every single night. It's so adorable. All right, push it forward, Chappie. Push it forward. And we'll go straight to core. All right, Thunderbolt down. Beautiful. Depends what you hit. Oh, Cyber. Cyber. If raccoons go boom, it explains all of the pirate pilot deaths. Oh, my. So far, so good. We're just softening things up by coring out mechs left and right here. Possums are the best. They're so cute. I gotta say, we've been really, really lucky. Out the front of our... Oh, not a safe. All right. Can we get a shot and then move? Griffin, send. All right. Decent hits. Decent hits. With four clan UAC fives and move. So we've been actually been really, really lucky. Out front, I don't know what has happened to our hummingbirds. So that's probably the unlucky part. However... We've noticed that a, a bird family is building a nest out front. We've got a nest out back. We've got a nest being built in this tiny little low bush by, I think there are European starlings. I might have that wrong. Raven would correct me. And then we've also got chickadees. We've got the opossum. We've got a pocket gopher. We've got... <laughs> we have so many animals. It's pretty amazing. I love it. Or keep cycling out, cycle out. Sounds like the bunny man is surrounded. Well, you know, we, we've been so lucky to be... Hey, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everyone today? So far, so good. Uh, no one has uh, died just yet. 
And on top of that, it seems like we've got some incredible, incredible uh, volunteers for our next campaign. I know what sound they make while stealing my food while I'm camping little. <laughs> Sounds Use a cherry bomb just right. It's a slightly muffled boom followed by a numerous split, 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 split. Howdy joke, yes, a loss to spring update drop, so started a new playthrough. Oh, heck yes! Well, that is probably a good time to just try it ourselves, darn street. That is really, really good news. All right, good hits, but this guy is still standing. Kind of nuts that he's able to, yeah? Looks like the Panther's taking all the shots, so we should take this time to get our Masakari into place. Waiting for orders. All right, see, we got Chappie. Chappie's going to keep pushing on forward. Just keep giving support here. Chappie's set. Sometimes you got to just for kicks hit straight to the head. All right. Decent hits. Decent hits. It's a picnic. You brought enough for all the animals when camping, right? Birds all around. Possums in the yard. Ungoliant and Shelob in the dusty wine bottle basement. <laughs> I don't want any Shelob in there, please. A regular mutual of Omaha Wild Kingdom. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, uh, I do not like that at all. All right, sprint, sprint, sprint. Let's go. Full, full out, full out. I heard a certain little bird gifted a copy to the bunny man, so I'm hoping we will get to see that soon. Well, bunnies, yes. I, I think that would be really, really cool. Maybe I will keep that in mind. Thank you so much. Actually, one of the things that I really, really dig about Solasa so far is just the fact that it actually has... It, it reminds me of... It's like D&D, right? So one of the cool things is that if you make your character, you can, it seems like you can send it into different campaigns and those characters actually stay the way that they are. So they maintain their storyline. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. And go. He needed a bit of cheer. Yes, it's so true. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The raccoons ate very well that night. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hopefully not because of all the cheery, the cheery, all the cheery cherry bombs. Oh, my. I play Adventurers League for some of my D&D time. What's Adventurers League? Can I ask? Is that anything in particular? Like a certain campaign, a certain rule set, anything like that? I've never heard of that before, yo. Are they? Oh, they've got their assault. That is their one assault. A sad assault, I must say, for the Lyrans. But, oh! Still can punch. This thing has a Gauss rifle. All right, maybe not as sad as I thought. Just take the file of Galadriel that you got out of the Cracker Jack box if you have to go into the dungeon. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I don't know how safe that is, but I guess I'll accept that. At least, thank you so much for all the tips on taking out the giant spider that's in the said basement. Oh, my. All right, who are we dealing with right now? We've got an archer. We got a Zeus. There's someone back here that I haven't seen yet, right? 55 tons. That's not too bad. All right, big brick. Brick is moving on out. Let's go ahead and get on in there. And since it's brick, we're going to go straight to core. Solid, solid hits. All right, we're looking at just 107 on that side. We got Chappie. He'll go ahead and send the shot. We got a breach. Beautiful. Breach on both sides. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now he is unsteady. We'll go ahead and cycle over. We'll pull back. Clear some of the stability on the move. And then we'll get Shidian. Shidian's going to hit that same guy. He's already unsteady. So knock him down and hopefully tear him apart. Beautiful. And down he goes. It's organized play D&D. &D. The downside is sometimes story takes a step back for rules and bookkeeping. But if you're willing to follow the rules, your character is legal to play anywhere. Home, a store, a big convention. Oh, that's cool. So is it? it's kind of like an honor system that, hey, we follow these rules. We are part of the adventurers league is that right i had an ex-girlfriend asked for peace and quiet when she was cooking so i removed the batteries from the smoke <laughs> cyber is saucy oh my oh my you have any dusty liquor left or have you burned through all the old vineyards that the previous owners left behind i actually have all of it i haven't touched any that the previous owners have left behind and if you're curious what friend of entropy is talking about when we first moved into this house uh, our the previous owners were kind enough to leave behind a giant liqueur cabinet and I gotta say it, it, it was pretty awesome yeah all right let's go ahead and pull in we have to do it this turn otherwise we're we're in trouble yeah so we'll sprint on in we got vigilance up here comes mech this is the last point right here 
and uh, they left behind a whole makeshift wine rack, and it had a whole bunch of different liqueur all the way back to like, whoops, <laughs> back to like 1982. It was pretty wild, yeah. HB's getting a little too excited, knocking down all the lights. All right, and Chappy. Chappy, Chappy, Chappy. I would love it if we could shoot and move, but it looks like we're just going to have to toss ourselves on in. We've got this guy on the ground. We'll go straight to core. Your tabletop games are way less deadly than mine. We brought backup characters for one session. Yes, it is the honor system. Enough rules to prevent someone from breaking the game if they were trying to cheat. Well, it sounds like... Oh, bunnies. I have good news. Apparently... We can shoot this guy in the butt. I guess all right. Here comes our Masakari in full effect in three, two, and one. He's got 10 left in the back. <laughs> Sucks to be these guys. Holy crap. The bunnies are on fire. Let's go ahead and keep nailing. We'll nail that Griffin. He's already got a breach. Send the LRM-80 with no basement or tornado shelter here. I envy your dungeon. Well, you know what? You would be welcome in my dungeon anytime, friend. Observer actual. This is fire control. Target locked. Firing for effect. High explosive 30. Danger close. Observer actual. This is fire control. Shot over. Splash in 30. Fire control. This is observer actual. Confirmed. Shot out. All right, here he comes, bunnies. Here he comes. Uh, that sounds a bit saucy. <laughs> well, in that case, lean into it. It's the sauciest dungeon around. Heck yes. Bringing backups is how my group group through White Plume Mountain in 1979. Phrasing, preparing skin graft for bunnies that have been on fire. Hey, forward, welcome. HBFT dungeon, many fluffers there. Welcome to my game dungeon. <laughs> well, it is a bit of a game dungeon, yes. All right, not a safe. Let's go ahead and send. We'll go straight to core. Griffin out, beautiful. And let's shuffle over, shuffle over, shuffle over. Even though we're slow, we are mighty. I was silent a while there because I frankly didn't know how best to respond to that. <laughs> the fact that Friend of Entropy didn't know how to respond. I don't know if we won or we lost. <laughs> All right, Chappy, Chappy, Chappy. Let's go ahead and hold. We're going to go ahead and reserve. Everyone sprint, sprint, sprint. We're, we're running to the finish line here. Here we go. Full sprint, full sprint. Looks like we've got two rounds. we got two rounds still impact. Masakari full speed. I had several silly options, but I just could not choose. <laughs> Well, you know what's interesting? It's almost like for Friend of Entropy, rather than trying to stump him, because Friend of Entropy has a quick wit and a sharp tongue, rather than stumping Friend of Entropy, the only way that you could possibly get him to slow down is give him too many options. Analysis paralysis. <laughs> well, I'm glad that we were able to uh, give you a plethora of options such that it took you a microsecond to respond. I think you won. Can't say the same for the rest of us. <laughs> Uh, of course, we're all part of the Bunny League. We all win. We all win on this. Look at that. We won by destroying the competition, yeah. Darn Street. All right, flip it with a Masakari. We are ready. We've got one in the zone. We got Shitty and full in. And here it comes. Good effect, heck yes. Fire control, this is Observer Actual. Good effect on target. Target's destroyed. All right, good to go, good to go. Keep it moving. Gwinning Company's doing a lot better now that we've destroyed absolutely everybody. All right, spin it, spin it. Let's see, Fursona Suit Dungeon. Hmm. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Okay, you have a point there. I'm, I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> all right, pretty safe in. And all that's left now is shitty in. Everyone is good to go, meaning that we can just sit here. And get the heck out of Dodge. That was flawless, bunnies. That was incredible. I'm so glad that we went lighter with 365 tons. Beautifully done, Commander. That hideous barnacle of a fortress has been cracked in two. And how Steiner has lost its foothold in Marek space. It's our pleasure, Fort Commander C. That was too easy for the bunnyling. Thank you for the assist, though. Commander, the unicorn. Hey, no problem. Unicorn Company will work with you anytime. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Heck yes. That was fantastic. Oh, apparently we forgot to run a bet there, but that's okay. We can get it in on the next one. 
let's go ahead and reset this last one it looks this is going to be a short flashpoint so heck we're not even at that 8 8 30 mark yet so we might just get into another one after this we were up against the fifth Lyran regulars let's see what we got we went three pick 12 on this one yes the 370 would have been too slow <laughs> i i full i wholeheartedly agree all right, so you got Griffins, Thunderbolts, Zeus's ER Large Laser. Oh, we might as well get a free Gauss Rifle Plus Plus, even though we're probably not going to use it. We got LRM 15s, Medium Lasers, PPCs. This is what we were looking for here the Arm Mod, the Range Finder, all the good stuff. So cross your fingers and see if we can get some extra things to sell. AC2s. All right, those are gone. LRM 15s, those are gone. PPC. And everything else is gravy. Beautiful. That was a fantastic haul on that first one, yeah? Definitely a nice nimble lens for placing markers. I know! Man, Shidian could zoom so far in that longbow, and that Masakari can sprint, like, at least as fast as a... a dragon. <laughs> Ignore the restraint system on the walls, friend of entropy. Oh my, no, he's not in the dungeon just yet. All right, what do we got, Samir? just received a distress call from Commander Karn B of Unicorn Company. They're in trouble down on the planet's surface. There was a Steiner kill team bearing down on their position. Their dropship is not responding. Unicorns are requesting our help, and no one can ever deny the Unicorn. Although they didn't really mention paying us anything for it. Man, what a strange coincidence. I just got off the line with Graf Alban Stieglitz Bradford, who just happens to be visiting. He has an urgent job for us on the other side of the planet. A standard base destruction gig, uh, nothing fancy, but he'll, he'll pay us an absolute mint for it. Hey, funny that. Hey, looks like someone wants to get us out of the way. I'm of two minds about this one, bunnies. It wouldn't be very neighborly of us to leave the unicorn to twist. After all, you gotta uh, grab them by the horn, but on some level they'd have to understand. We're all mercenaries, and as a rule, mercs go where the money is, not where the mythical creatures are. Hey, All Axis, thank you so much for the resub for two months. is incredible. Thank you. What do you think? Do we go to Unicorn Company's assistance, or do we let Hal Steiner sideline us for a paycheck? Well, you know, I mean, Gwydian Company helped us when we were in a tight spot. It'd be wrong not to help them. Roger that, Commander. They'll be happy to hear it. And we'll throw our people into the middle of a heavily armed kill team for no compensation at all. Is that what mercenaries do now? Hey, it is if the boss says it is, Meyer. He's a company, not a democracy. Yeah, that's right. We're a company, and as a rule, companies exist to turn a profit. Look, I'm not trying to be difficult about this. Honestly, I'm not. What kind of message will it send if we start tossing our mech warriors into the meat grinder pro bono? That isn't what they signed up for. No, it isn't. But Yang is correct, Meyer. The Bunny League's decision to make and a story. All right, Bunnies, we got to decide what we're going to do. We can either help the unicorns or we can help the blue fist. <laughs> 60 seconds on the clock. But first, let me just make sure that I've refreshed this so that it shows up correctly. And here we go. All right, let's see what I missed. But, 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 a uh, taste the rainbow. Wait, wait, salvage is profitable, right? I know! I think it's more profitable, quite frankly. They cannot play flavor packets, but they do have Skittles, Darn Street. You know what Garrison would choose? Of course, he would be helping uh, that giant, a uh, blue fist, that raises its fist so proudly. Reputation is valid currency, vote zero. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, that's right. Although, Kit, you'll probably have to do a vote again just because uh, it came after your statement. Bunnies and unicorns, there's got to be a joke in there somewhere. Well, you know, a bunny and a unicorn walked into a bar and they walked right out because they just for kicks each other in the head. <laughs> I don't know if that really makes sense. All right, we've got 19 seconds left. So far, it seems like helping the unicorns is what the Bunny League is all about. Obviously, we are all about helping those in need. And when you got to grab it by the horn, who better to help than the, than the unicorn company itself? Hey, Tug, welcome, 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 bunnies. If you are unfamiliar with Tug, definitely, definitely a great friend of the Bunny League. Definitely worth your time. We're all animal lovers darn straight. All right, bunnies, it seems like you have chosen to save the mythical. Well, we're helping the Unicorn Company. Besides, it would not be ethical of us to switch sides in the same conflict. 
Message received, bunnies. Thanks for hearing me out. I'll get, I'll get the bunny. I'll get the. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to remember that the unicorns is really difficult. <laughs> I'll get the unicorns on the horn. <laughs> Extra difficult. I'll, I'll get the unicorns on the horn and let them know that we're on our way. <laughs> Jesus, this is not going well. All right, Archer Griffin. Goodbye, goodbye. Just, just shoo, shoo, shoo. All right, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. All right, Griffin's up. Horn the unicorn. <laughs> Well, it seems like everyone is safe, right? No one was damaged on that last one. Perfect. Let's go in and get into this unicorn saving excursion. Here we are with the unwelcome guests, but everyone knows that the Bunny League are always welcome when it comes to the bunnies and the unicorns. Here we are in a four skull difficulty battle in the jungle. You know, I think this crew did a pretty good job, but tell you what, instead of the, uh, we got our not as safe, the pretty safe and the Masakari, instead of the Masakari, what if we decided to go a little lighter? And bring our Atlas too, darn Oh wait, the Atlas too is heavier than that. <laughs> that is fine. This is fine. This is fine. All right, bunnies. We're just going to go in and bring in... Uh, we got Cyber Gizmo. Cyber Gizmo will get back there in the Blitzkrieg. Uh, we've got... Well, this is going to be our first time bringing in our Atlas too. That should be kind of nice, yeah? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go in and get... Let's get Maimoff. Maimoff is not gentle, so I think this will be even better for him, right? We'll go grab Shinny. Shinny can get a little... Oh, actually, you know what? Profanity's been working on his master attack. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. The not as safe. And let's go. Four skull difficulty battle in the jungle. And let's see how we get on. Oh, thank the gods. The bunnies are here at last. Commander, you are a lifesaver, and I do mean that literally. Just sit tight, unicorn man. We'll handle the kill team and get your people out of there. Look, you're doing us a solid, bunnies, and I promise if, if you get us out of this, I will not forget it. Unicorn out. All right, here we go. Okay, <laughs> it's so hard. It's so hard to remember. All right, thank you so much, Unicorn Man. Let's... <laughs> All right, full in, full in. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No time, time's a wasting, time's a wasting. What do we got? So you can obviously see, see that that kill team is way the heck up here. They're obviously going to have lots and lots of assault. So let's go ahead and pull ourselves over to the right where we can split. If we need to, we can cross over to the right of the berm on the right side here or the left, depending on where we need cover from. We'll pull forward into the forest. Everyone is now in cover, beautiful. And now we are ready for the fight. What do we got? One. All right, we got a true Steiner scout out here. We've got a hundred tonner out here. Not too sure what's going on. So full reserve. We're going to wait until initiative one so that he's got a chance to move. Our HB is in the pretty safe. So we'll tuck on up and we'll go ahead and lock him. We got a hundred and we got 75 and we got 45. Lock. All right. Atlas versus Atlas. It's like spy versus spy. It's glorious. This guy's done. He's an Atlas A with six missile hard points, all the SRM, so he's a close, direct line of sight mech. But we've got Profanity here, who is still working on his called shot mastery, so sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Firing all weapons. No joy, but I will take it. Psh, noobs. <laughs> that joke is irreverent. I love it. Ooh. I totally forgot that Profanity probably shouldn't be in the front because, after all, Profanity doesn't have any bulwark, so he's only getting a 20% damage reduction from being in cover. So we'll get Maimoff, who is not gentle. Or what about... We'll, go, we'll get Cyber here. Cyber's up in the Blitzkrieg. We'll cycle over to the side and dump those evasion pits. Looking a little soft here with 90, 70, 60, 54, and 51 on the side. So he's looking at 155 total on that left torso. Potentially a... Missiles on a 75 tonner. Doesn't seem like a marauder. Maybe an onion? You think that's an onion? All right, let's go in and tuck. We've got Maimoff. Maimoff's going to get some sight. He's moving on forward. He does have bulwark on this one. The March Militia. Well, if they're Militia, they must not be as good as regulars, right? It fits the lore, though. Best way to get profanity out of profanity. <laughs> Holy crap! Jane! Funnies! Okay, we have a real treat here, bunnies. If... If you are unaware of Jane, she is one of the sweetest ladies that you will ever meet in your entire life. Oh, of course I flub it, don't I? Seriously, why did I flub it? There we go, there we go, there we go. Thank you so much. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm doing just fine, bunnies. This is awesome. 
blockchain, we are currently in the middle of trying to protect ourselves and save some unicorns. So hopefully we're gonna make it happen. Heck yes. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. Leas Klein. Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Leas. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. Are right, we got a pretty safe sometimes? You got to just for kicks it straight to the head. We nailed the head. <laughs> all right. It's happening. You got to save all those unicorns. Darn straight. Unicorns are difficult to come by. And, and I got to say that, you know, we, we are always doing our part to make sure that the unicorns are going to walk away scot-free. I guess. We need an all awesome lens that we can sing. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of the league. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is fantastic. All right. Nail it, nail it, nail it. What do we got? We got 30 seconds left, bunnies. 30 seconds left. If you want to get in on the bets right now, we got 14 believing that the bunnies are going to walk away without any pilot losses whatsoever because the bunnies have all the faith. And send. Yeah, well, there goes half. Oh, we hit the head, but it wasn't enough, apparently. Head found, sir. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, my goodness. All right, so holy crap. Maymoth. Maymoth, thank you so much for the gifted subs. If you could show some love in chat for Maymoth, that is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you taking care of the bunnies and for always being such a good guy, yeah? Thank you so much. Holy crap. Look at all those bunnies. Heck yes. Thank you. Well, speaking of Maymoth, here is Maymoth. He's going to follow it up with that with that Atlas and Sand. Maymoth is not gentle. <laughs> Yo, I guess. And Maymoth scores us too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Bunny power indeed. Heck yes. Maymoth, because you were not gentle, look what happened. We walked out with two parts of an Atlas A. It's beautiful. All right, we've got our Blitz Craig. Let's go ahead and start hammering into that onion. Here I am flipping through the how to subscribe and uh, Maymoth sneaks up on me. <laughs> well, I appreciate the thought. Bunnies, for any of you, just thanks so much for hanging out. Seriously, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Ooh, never like that sound. That AC round makes me flinch because after all, uh, they do have a habit of sometimes connecting with the head. We like it when it happens for us, but we aren't necessarily so fond of when it happens against us. So here we go. We've got the Thumper Cannon. We can go ahead and ping two. Shot out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And good hit. Heck yes. So let's see how this onion is doing. He's looking a little unsteady. The right side. He's got the right side turned away from us. Smart play. Smart play. Well, let's go ahead and cycle up with HB. And we'll go straight into the torso. And we got a bit of a donut. Beautiful. So he only has that AC now. And that side's already damaged. So if we pepper him with missiles all day long, he's going to have to give it and call uncle. Getting shot in the head. I wouldn't know anything. <laughs> Uh, those were dark days in our <laughs> those were dark days in our career all right here we go may all right may cycle back cycle back you are not gentle clear some of that stability damage and send that atlas too may is still not gentle splash two for may yeah i wouldn't know what that is like darn straight friend a friend is almost never shot in the head heck yes all right pretty safe let's hold 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 all right, Maymoth, pull forward. Embrace. Daisy number three. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Wait, what? When have we had a Daisy number three? I have no idea. Oh, all this Hashiman. He was full, but look how red his back is. Oh, my. All right, Cyber, cycle it over and send it. He is seriously braced. He's got Bulwark. He's got Cover. He's also... Bulwark cover and a full 60% damage reduction. All of our missiles only doing one point of damage each. Kind of nuts. But the one thing that he cannot protect himself from is sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. We nailed the head. <laughs> 
you know, we keep nailing the head, but we, we are never actually getting just that, that solid, solid blow that we need. Yeah, not too bad, though. I will take it. I'll go ahead and lock him. He only has a medium laser. He lost his hatchet. He's, he's just... He's not a hatchetman. He's just a man. <laughs> That's the sound of a man who working on the train. Yeah, he has. And send it. Come on, punch out. Yes, that's right. And we got one left, bunnies. We got one left. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go ahead and hold back. We're going to regroup on this one. We got an 85 tonner in there. Oh, it's the bad longbow. Never mind, bunnies. It's all a head full. These guys are going to go up in a huge, huge plume. We're going to stack pull this guy. All right, here we go. We've got the not as safe out in the open. And we'll go straight to core. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't even see it like went the little paper doll system just went black and I, I, I couldn't tell what did he die or did <laughs> that UX5 barrages. It's so that happened. <laughs> Jesus. You saved us, Commander. Unicorn Company owes you one. Why, yes, you do, Commander Unicorn. And if you can just prance along and do a little gallop and I can grab you by the horn and giggle like a schoolgirl, then I'll call it all good. You better believe we're going to remember it. Roger that, Mr. Oliveira. In your position, you'd better believe I'd do the same. Hey, unicorn drinks are on us when we get out of here. Commander Unicorn out. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Heck yes. Will the Bunny League win the battle without pilot losses? That is a resounding yes. Congratulations to all those who had the faith that we'd be able to save the unicorn company without any problems whatsoever heck yes i'll refresh this and we are good to go let's go in and see what we got out of this obviously there was an atlas it had to eject we're probably going to get two parts out of that thanks to the not very gentle mamoff oh no he was so not gentle that we only got one <laughs> we only got one part of it unfortunately all right that's fair all right, here we go. Atlas, we'll grab it. We've got that longbow part. LRMs, no double heat sinks or anything like that. So we might as well get the heaviest thing that we can. We'll go get that longbow. Cross your fingers and go. Not bad, not bad. We got all of the assault parts. That's pretty darn good. We'll get rid of these LRMs. We'll get rid of the medium lasers. Everything else, small. It would be heresy to get rid of the middle finger of doom. So we're definitely going to keep that one. But overall, not a bad loot drop at all. Nonsense. I am the original. Bunny Man tells the memory loss is nothing to worry. <laughs> you know, memory loss is something that we all go through. Mm, Battlefield donuts. That's exactly why I want four UAC 2s on a mauler. Do that from three maps away. <laughs> Mamoff. Yes, that's right. Mamoff only got us one part of an Atlas. Drat. Bunny Prance time. All right, here we go. Let's wrap this up. Man. Unicorn Company sent along their thanks for the assist, and on top of that, a little bit of a unicorn gift basket. Inside was unicorn cleaner and a unicorn a toilet seat, and on top of that, we also got ourselves some unicorn Cheez-Its. They were absolutely amazing. Did I say that I ate them already? Commander Unicorn sounded extremely, extremely grateful. Man, she better be. We just put our people in battle mechs on the line to save your company's butts, and we didn't get paid a single sea bill for our trouble. I uh, never know. Uh, maybe they'll return the favor someday. Have you excuse me? I've got repairs to see too. I killed him was no joke. Well, go to it, Yang. I'm going to continue to enjoy all of these unicorn cheeses. Commander, when I receive our payment from House Merrick for the joint operation, I will send it your way. All right, bunnies. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we can... Bunnies, we can build our fourth atlas. <laughs> we could have a Steiner Scout lens. Oh, that's wild. Never thought I'd see the day. Well, let's go ahead and hold back on this one. And let's see what we've got. Come on. Oh! We've got our second part of the Royal Black Knight. Heck yes! All right, we're getting some consistency here. You gotta love that. SLDF Large Pulse. Oh my god, and an improved version at that. That's incredible. All right, beautiful, beautiful. It weighs one ton less. It weighs only six tons. It's beautiful. AC2s, improved weapons all around. Not bad at all. I will take it. I also take payment in Smarties. No Skittles. Mmm, cheese. It's fish shaking is the common response that I expect. <laughs> All right, bunnies. This is incredible. So if you stop by the mech bay, I just want to confirm a few things. 
let's go in and go buy the storage here we've got our atlas 2 in bay one right now we'll go over to assaults we've got oh oh wow <laughs> I didn't realize we had so many atlases holy crap we've got two atlas a's we have one atlas ll and we can make another atlas a or d and then we've also got our atlas two. <laughs> oh, this is grand man you know one of these days we're gonna have to go back and do that steiner alliance faction flashpoint and show them what what for darn straight ll that's correct if you're curious what the ll is uh this comes it is a non-standard variant Occasionally seen amongst the successor states downgrading both the missile systems, replacing them with medium lasers and the arms with large lasers. So LLs for those large lasers. A full Atlas Spiner Party Steiner Scout Lance. Let's go. Darn straight, Jason. Darn straight, Jane. All right, buddy. So, so far, so good. Right now, it's 8 p.m. We did say that we would do half and half on this one. So let's go ahead and get the polls rolling. We've got 60 seconds on the clock. So we've got to decide whether or not we're going to do another flashpoint because you got to remember that we're trying to get two kids to spawn so this doing flashpoints now means we do them on stream otherwise i'm going to do them off stream so it's up to you so we can either do another flashpoint now or we can uh do something else <laughs> when i say something else we'll we'll take another poll but i'm assuming it means going against the clanners yeah after all, they, they do put up quite a fight. So let's go ahead and stop by the barracks and let's do some maintenance on our pilots while we wait. So we got a big brick. We got Shappy, Cyber, Data King. All good. They are all top-notch pilots here. Not really too many points to apply. I think it was 240 experience each. And Profanity finally becomes that called shot master. Absolutely fantastic for Profanity. He's no longer going to be the one swearing and cursing ahead, yeah? So here we go. Profanity is good to go with his brand new called Shop Mastery. Definitely going to have to take him into the next fight so that we can get let him get land all those beautiful, beautiful just for kicks in. And overall, not too bad. Uh, there's not really too much to sell. I mean, I suppose we could sell those long ball, longbow parts. We're already we're at 13.7 million. <laughs> Didn't you try the flashpoint before and it goes very, very sideways? Oh, uh, which one, Tack? Which one are we talking about, yeah? And thank you so much for weighing in. Do something else. Perfect. All right, bunnies. Well, tell you what. In that case, let's go ahead and reset this poll here. We'll clear this. And I guess my question is, do you want to fight inner sphere uh, contracts or clan contracts? And 60 seconds up. And go. Hopefully that'll show up. Yeah, inner sphere or clan. There we go. Perfect. I have no idea how to spell. Oh, Tukiid. So we've only done Tukiid once before, and we did it when it was first released by Ablomus. And I got to say that when it was first released, it was a little bit easy. We that's actually where we got that. Uh, if you look in the video section of the Twitch, our Twitch channel, you'll see a something called Headshot Academy. And we did something like 27 headshots in one stream. <laughs> so that was from Tukiid at the time. Since then, it's been improved. It's become way more difficult from what I understand. And we're in the brand new BXCE. So we're hoping to find it. Hopefully we'll find it. I, I haven't had much luck, but uh, I'm crossing my fingers that we'll be lucky. I will be able to check it out together. You anyone remember when the Fafnir comes out? Oh, you mean year wise? The great thing about BXCE, you can just go to Sarna, look it up, and we'll be able to find out just like that. It's great. Yeah. Clan contracts. All right, bunnies. Thanks so much for weighing in. That has been 60 seconds. I really, really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and head up north. So the thing that I would like to do, I would like to fight against Clan Ghost Bear, primarily because uh, we. I would love it if we could find a, con a uh, Kodiak. Yeah, so let's go ahead and find a five skull system here. Time to go farming darn straight. So we got one and a half hours to farm for some Kodiak parts. Uh, we got a, oh we got a black market as well beautiful and calm star presence sounds great let's go all right let's see what we got store 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 nothing here but they've got a black market banshee blackjack locust victor lrms and nothing else okay we'll stop by the hiring hall see if there's anything worth grabbing here no 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 and stop by cross your fingers for the contracts here heck yes all right bunnies we've got the pick of the litter we've got We've never done a five skull before, have we? We've got recovery in the tundra, 2.2 million. What's the most? It's 210, right? 
attack and defend five go oh, no 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 battle urban assassinate tundra a Kuritan lance was just eliminated by a clan ghost bear star but we made them pay dearly the star was reduced to one man all right all right we're doing this one bunnies five skull difficulty 2.2 million assassination we'll go in full two pick 10 against clan ghost bear uh, let's see what do we got so we'll bring everyone out and let's let's redo this here so we've got our blitz krig we'll go ahead and grab shidian he is all set uh we've got our rishniks we'll grab him in there uh we have the super azicus and the pretty safe this is the standard setup i don't know bunnies do you want us to go in like this do you want us to bring something else yeah oh my daisy number three was created to feed the bunnies triple f burgers extended uh, let's see. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab... We'll get Mech. Mech and the Super Azicus. We're going to go ahead and grab Chappie into the pretty safe. You want the Axeman? Oh, my! In a five skull? Holy crap. I don't know about that. I wonder if there will be two survivors despite the description due to it being the clan. Probably. Probably. With assassinations, they usually have a bodyguard. Absolutely. Well, we do have profanity, but if we're going to get super close, probably not good. He doesn't have bulwark, so... Let's stick in. We'll stick in Data King and Rishnix, yeah? Give those clanners the bad touch. Well, you know, if I was going to bring in anything, I'd bring in the Banshee, yeah? All right, here we go. Five Skull difficulty assassination in the Tundra. Uh, let's go ahead and get the bits rolling here. This is the location indicated, Commander. We've got a lock on the target mech's position. Engage it and take it down. We're seeing comm chatter nearby, so there may be reinforcements. Be careful. Olivera out. All right, bunnies. So on this map, typically you're up against like a, a lance right up front or a star in this case. There it is. And then you've got the remaining assassination target back here. But we've got enemy escorts and ambushers. So we're up against two lances or two stars. So that's going to be 10 plus two. It's going to be 12. 12 ghost bear mechs. Oh, crap. All right. Hold. I volunteered to sacrifice Jason. <laughs> put hb in it hb can definitely be in one of them okay so i'm not pushing forward into this because they're already on the hill if we do that we're gonna get caught out in the open so let's let's actually pull back this is the very edge i want to get into these trees right here so full sprint over full sprint all out all out go i'm not sure that's how it works meme off uh so here's a crazy thing if they're out here i'm curious do you think an er range weapon can cross all the way over here my hope is no all right cycle over we get we get one one turn of movement that's it before things get crazy let's everyone move to cover immediately all to cover all to cover we got Rishnix. Rishnix has to stay a little bit closer he does have that uac so we'll stay spread here blitzkrieg is pulling all the way over all the way over uh, thanks for volunteering jason <laughs> The buddies, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know how you all get along sometimes. You just uh, toss yourselves to the wind. I'm just trying to give you chances to grow in strategy, taking all Malay mechs into an urban biome versus a five skull clan. It would go great. <laughs> I don't know about that. With a Banshee, it, it went pretty well, I have to admit. All right, Chappie's up. Super Azicus. Tuck it over. Rish Nix. Move a little bit. No enemy contact yet. Blitz Craig, get up. There we go. Rish Nix is going to be the one to push it. Hey, Pirate. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're currently getting into our very first Five Skull difficulty assassination against Clan Ghost Bear. <laughs> so it's our first Five Skull against the Clanners. So this is it's a little wild, yeah? There's still one minute, 30 seconds left if you want to get in on the bet. Yeah, let's get Mech forward. We got Chappie. Chappie's forward. There we go. We got Rish Nix tucking up a little bit. Still no... Still no contact and Blitzkrieg. Hold. I don't want to be sacrificed to the bunny gods. It's the memory gaps. This version will not remember when he comes out of that. Oh my. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, we probably should have switched someone around. Let's see. We got Chappie. We got Mech. Mech can take some serious shots. He tends to run kind of hot. So let's run. Let's run Super Azicus. We're going to switch it. We're going to switch it. Ready for All right. Rish. Still no, still no space there. Still no space. Blitzkrieg, hold. 
Make the enemy die instead. Bunnies versus bears. What could go wrong? We'll be fine. Dark Street, I like your vote of confidence. Of course we'll be fine, all access. But let's just start with DK. DK's just inching up one by one. All right, we got contact. We got contact. We have a fit. Ah, oh, he only brought a 50 tonner. Silly ghost bear clanners. And we have a 70 tonner. All right, so we got a Thor over there. All right, so let's go ahead. We've got uh, Mech. Mech's pulling on in. On Been pretty safe. Shidian. Shidian's going to keep the high ground there. And hold. Stormcrow 50. Thank you so much, pirate. Okay, I hear a Loki out there. I'm hearing ECM. It might be a Loki. It might be a, I don't know, a Stormcrow or something, yeah? God, I hate, I hate that sound. Is that 65? Is that 65? 65. So it is a Loki. There's that Thor, that 70 tonner. Oh, we didn't even get to brace. That's a bummer. Ghost Bear always reminds me of Klondike bars, and they're delicious. Darn straight they are. All right, 50. Oh, a Blackhawk. Oh, solid hits to Data King 1. Oh, I don't like that at all. In order to start the engagement, we had to put him in the open. I do not like that. That is so... Oh, God, that is so rough. We had to lose over 200 points of armor just to start the engagement. All right, Data King. Can you walk back? You cannot walk back, so we're, we're actually going to sprint back. Pull back. I will eat K-Bar later. Hold. Where are they at? Where are they at? Like Chappie. Go lock. No locks here. What about what about Meg? No locks here. Move. Brace. Still no locks. No locks. Chappie brace. Shitty and brace. All right, come on out. Come on out. We want to pull them to the edge because they're going to have to go through trees. They're going to naturally separate, yeah? There's that Loki over here. Not too sure if he's hiding anything. We've got the 50. We've got the 70. There's another one back here. There's a fourth. We don't know where the fifth is. It's very possible that he's in that bubble. So let's just go ahead and hold. I'd love it to be able to move first. We've got Data King. Uh, I guess we have to move and then lock, right? So let's go ahead and uh, we'll cycle down here. Heading out. The reason why is it seems to be a bit of a steep incline. So we can lock... 50. This has the two clan ear PPCs on the 50, so we'll we'll keep him up there. There. Lock him, lock him on the Black Hawk. What's well, surprised to see a Black Hawk, yeah? Alright, Chappie. We'll go straight to court. Solid hits. 50. Chappie, you beast. <laughs> That's amazing. Holy crap, Chappie. God, Chappie's like all-star, I swear. He's got 15 in the middle, Bunny. So we send Clan LRM 80 at him. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. He's just he's just limping. All right, Shady, and you're up. You're up. Cycle it and send. 15 in the middle. 10 in the middle. Oh, only one hit in the middle? Holy crap. Did he turn? He probably turned his side to us, right? Let me see. Did he do it? He didn't. Holy crap. Out of 80 missiles, only one hit the middle. That's ridiculous. He's got 10 in the middle. All right. Well, we still have some precision strike straight. We're going to shut off the ERs or shut off the Gauss rifles and go. There we go. Mech's got him covered. Beautiful. And first clan mech down. All right. Keep, keep distance. Maximum distance. Maximum distance. Super Asicus is going to cycle on back. And here's the thing. If they want to hit Data King down here, they're going to have to get right to the edge. And he's got a Clan UAC 20, so he's going to make them pay for it, yeah? I think five hit the middle, but with all that bracing, they were doing one each. Oh, serious tag. All right, fair enough. Thank you so much for the correction, yeah? All the clarification. All right, and they've got a 75, so probably a Timberwolf on that left side. So now we see all four of the lead star. Of the first star out of the two and a half or so. All right, we got Data King. Let's go ahead and cycle it. We got some sight. UAC 20 is at 36%, but we'll try and go to core with it. Oh, that'll do. And he's got 117. 117. There we go. Beautiful. He's out in the open. Fantastic. All right, Mech. Send. Got it. All right, we got breaches in the middle. 67. Cycle over. 
maximum distance. So a Nova group and or a supernova unit. Do you think we'll find a supernova? Really? What is a, a is a Nova group? Just a, a whole bunch of Black Hawks, yeah? Shappy. 50. So we give him a little bit of a better chance here. Let's cycle over to the right. Get better line of sight and send. And Thor is down. All right, bunnies, they've got three left. They've got three left on this one. They've got a 65 tonner, definitely a low key. They've got that 75 tonner over on the left, and then they've got the 60. So probably a vulture in the back, yeah? Where are you going, Loki? I've been sensor locked. Okay, that's fine. I do not mind them locking one of our fresh mechs. That's totally okay. The vulture, if he's, is he a two clan? Nope. ERPBC and an LBX. Uh, what is that? 60. Do vultures come with LBXs as well? Oh, all right. That's the Azicus. That's fine. Two PPCs. Probably a Timberwolf. Probably a Timberwolf, yeah? Oh, yes, it is. Mad Cat. We got a Mad Cat. Two clan ER PPCs. Perfect. All right. Well, we got shit in. And send. Two star equals a Nova group. Three star and or two stars are making a support group equals Supernova. Oh, I didn't realize that. I was totally thinking of the Supernova, the mech, because we got one part of it, and I was hoping that we'd see another. <laughs> but, of course, we're fighting against Clan Ghost Bear. It's a little bit different, yeah? All right, so here we go. We've got... Can we just cycle? Let's let's pull down, all the way down, all the way down. Uh, we'll keep ourselves... We'll, we'll hold. Let's go ahead and lock. There's a 75. Let's go ahead and ping that... I'd like to ping the Loki if possible, because I want to get rid of his ECM. I believe it's in his left torso. So if we target the left torso, we might be able to rip it off immediately, right? Let's just double check. Targeting computer and the electronic warfare equipment in that side. So let's go in and get mech. Mech's all set. We'll go straight to the left torso. 49, 49. Electronic warfare equipment destroyed. Heck yes. Good job. Good job, mech. What do you think of the supernova with a laser show? Dude, It is. it was crazy. I really wish that we got one, but... I mean, if you, if you think about where he was, he was on top of a building surrounded by enemies on three sides. It was not going to go well for him. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get to see him under his full glory. Yeah? All right, Chappie, you're up. Hopefully, we can exploit that left torso. And go. I... Headshot for Chappie. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we, we didn't even we didn't even use for some... <laughs> All right, we got a Timberwolf and potentially this Vulture. Holy crap. Chappie, what did you eat? Chappie's always like this whenever I'm farming, I swear. I bring him just to make things go faster sometimes. I don't know what has... Ugh, I don't know what has gotten into Chappie. Free headshots, winner, winner, chicken dinner, darn straight. All right, Mad Cat's up. Let's see, we got shitty in. We'll just keep driving into him. I mean, this guy's just going to go unsteady at this point, and then we'll be able to knock him over on the next turn. All it's going to take... Because we're going to be able to move before him, yeah? Sometimes you got to accidentally oh, kick... It. <laughs> I'm glad that they're hitting Super Azzy. So check the paint on the Mad Cat. Yeah, no, seriously. It's got the skull, the skull paint job, yeah? Isn't it based off the hero mech, yeah? Look at this. Oh, that looks so cool. It's like a skeleton. Does Clan Ghost Bear get this ostentatious? Kind of crazy. Looks really cool. But you can see that he's currently unsteady. So it's all it's going to take is a little bit of a nudge to toss him on the ground. So we're just going to go in and hold first. He's already moved. And we'll start with Shidian and drop him. It is a nice mech indeed. Chappie likes homemade chicken soup tonight. Chappie eat a golden carrot from Minecraft. <laughs> And down he goes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, here comes that 60. Uh, we got DK. Let's line this up. And go straight to core. And 75 is down. All right, bunnies. So now we just have that 60 tonner from the first of the Nova group. And let's rock him. He's going to have to advance into danger close in order to take us on. Let's go in and get mech. Mech's going to shift on over. And lock him. A little bit of a nudge, just eight to ten tons of high explosive ordnance. That is a little nudge. I love understatement here at the Bunny League. Oh, what do we got here? We've got another 60 tonner out there. This it is a vulture. It is a vulture. All right, Chappie. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta just for kicks hit straight to the head. 
All right, I'll take the leg. I'll take the leg. He's unsteady already. All right, Chappie, you know what? Chappie, just sit there. Sit there. You're doing fine. You're like our... You're like our bunny league... Oh, wow. Super aggressive. Oh, my. Holy crap. Super aggressive. And in a vulture of all things. I guess he really didn't have much choice. He had to charge us. We forced him to by eliminating all of his friends. How's that left arm? We got 40 on that side. That's on the left. So we got to give him a right. Let's keep that in mind. Moral of the story. When asking, Chappie can't hit the head. But when he's bored, he gets it on accident. <laughs> Instead, he hits the toe. He hits the toe. All right, so there's that Vulture. He can also shoot at the Super Azicus. These are serious hits. Serious hits. They've just dealt 600 damage to Super Azicus. Definitely have to... Oh! Holy, holy, holy crap. That's ridiculous. Come on. Well, this guy's at the edge, so he's about to die. What else do they have? Oh, jeez, Louise. Going for Chappie. Big repair bill tonight. Well, as long as we don't get any breaches, then we should have zero on the repair bill, but that's not looking likely. I don't know. Chappie hits the head when asked fairly often. Yes, he does. It's actually quite incredible, yeah? Oh, my God. All right, that second star is already online. Gosh, we haven't even moved from this location. I'm not that RNG. I just do what I'm supposed to do. Oh, my. All right, well, let's go ahead and just go straight to core with Chappie. Splash two. <laughs> Chappie's so good. Holy crap. All right, let's, let's, let's pull over, pull over. God, he just pops him. Pops him one by one. We've got one star left. So let's go ahead. We're just going to cycle back. Give him our right. We're going to go ahead and, I guess, lock. Lock up, lock up. Vulture Prime. So this was a spotter LRM 20s. Okay, so we got mech. No shots here. No shots here. All right, let's just go ahead and flip over. We'll give him our right. And then we'll brace right here. Just brace. There we go. Chappie is earning that salary. You need to make space on some of the mechs for AMS and or laser AMS. I haven't seen any laser AMS in... Um, I haven't seen any of that in BXE. But I definitely have seen AMS, for sure. It reduces some of the missile damage that we take, yeah? Beautiful, completely unsteady on that tiny little vulture. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he comes a little closer. He's pulling away. Smart move. Hopefully we'll be able to lock him and drop him. All right, there's that 65. I heard the electronic warfare, so probably another Loki. We'll have to drop off that left torso, yeah? The carrots. I want the carrots. <laughs> All right, hold, hold, hold. Roger that. Standing by. Yes. All right, cycle the right and lock the 65. Loki up. Prime. Have not seen any 100 tonners yet. Ready. Well, let's see, we've got Chappie, so we'll go into that left torso, try and rip off the electronic warfare suite. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> It's so easy. He's like a fulfillment center all of his own. All right, here we go. Pull over to the side there. Uh, we got mech. Follow into that same side if we can connect. Yeah, here we go. Straight into the same side. Pop that. What a team. 35. 35 left on that and Shidian and Sin. Give him Clan LRM 80. With three left in the middle? How is he still standing? He had, I swear he had three structure left. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's like a little thread in the middle there. All right, 65, is he pulling away? Oh, he's he's pulling away, but <laughs> he's running away, a kiss. As long as they don't see us, we're fine. Oh, 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 oh. There's a Thor out there. There's a Thor out there. All right, so here we go. Let's just cycle to the right. Go ahead and there's that vulture. I want to get rid of all the glass cannons. Yeah, they're the easiest to kill, yeah? Brave Sir Robin. That is the plan. Well, we got mech. We'll focus straight to core. And 40 in the middle. Beautiful. And we'll just keep cycling over to the right. Cycle over to the right. Chappie's up. Send. Vulture down. <laughs> 
My wife and I both enjoy your stream. Gratitude and hope help when depression comes. You have no idea what that means. I am so, so, so lucky that we can have a... I'm very lucky that we can have a positive impact on you. Thank you so much for sharing. That means a whole lot. And I'm I'm sorry that you may be going through a tough time, but I'm I'm so happy, so happy that that we can do good things in the world. So thank you. All right, let's go and rock these guys. We got shitty in here. All right, Blitzkrieg. So far, so good. Let's go in and cycle. We're going to bring Blitzkrieg forward. After all, you got to make sure that he's going to be tanking because even our Longbow, this is the Longbow 7Q, they've got a lot of armor compared to the Longbow 0W. After all, what else are we? If we're not the Bunny League, we're going to work together, darn straight. Five kills equals Ace Award. Any in the Bunny team yet? I sure hope so. I don't know in the same battle yet. Oh, we got a breach. We got a breach. Holy crap. All right, there's our clan, our la large laser on that side. So where is it on the Data King? That we got to give him our left now. Ooh, I don't like that at all. Well, let's go ahead and take the shot. We've got sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Targeting uh, that will have to do. All right, we'll go ahead and cycle down. Give him our left for the Rishniks. Uh, let's see. We got mech. Let's hold, 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 hold a little bit. Hopefully they'll move. Most bunnies are aces multiple times over. Darn straight, Cyber. Much love, much love. It's such a great community. I, I wholeheartedly agree. I 100% agree. All right, let's go ahead and give him the right. Copy that. I'm feeling pretty good, bunnies. We're, we're feeling pretty good. Not only did the bunnies give us animal time, but they also let us use the head. <laughs> hey, Bast. Bast, thank you so much for the resale for 13 months, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're getting into our very first... Our very first Five Skull Difficulty Lock Clan on. Ghost Bear fight, and it is going relatively well for Chappie. <laughs> Jeez Louise! Holy crap, Chappie, you're a beast. I don't even know what's going on anymore. That's ridiculous. Uh, this is the life, I swear, this is the life. All right, let's go in and cycle Chappie over. Beautiful. And you got to remember that that was that 65 tonner. He is looking pretty, pretty sad right now. So let's go ahead and cycle it over. Just got to keep shifting. I'm feeling like we should probably get Chappie to move forward. He should be uh, down here instead. So let's go ahead and switch positions. We've got three more mechs. Only one that we've seen here is the 65 tonner. We know that there's more out there. Not too sure. Let's go ahead and pull Rishniks. We'll pull Rishniks back. There we go. RNG loves me. Well, it's not RNG, yes. <laughs> You're just doing the job. Darn straight. All right, Chappie, it's time. It's time. Let's go in and get you over. We're pulling you from your perch. And we'll get Mech to switch. Mech's pulling away. This is a vulnerable time. The changing of the guard is a very, very vulnerable time right now. So we, we want to make sure that we're safe. But you know what? That Loki Prime is a little bit of a chicken right now. So we'll just get Shady in a pull forward as well. After all, we want to keep the shots rolling. So everyone's cooling off. This is fantastic. Where is he at? Where is he at? He's coming a little bit closer. Beautiful. All or not, thank you so much for the cheers, man. Bunny's killing a lot of carrots. Wait, wait, Bunny's killing a lot of carrots? <laughs> I think what you mean are bunnies are killing a lot of clanners. And that means a lot of carrots for all the bunnies who had the fate. Darn straight. I like how you think. I like how you think. Darn straight. All right, so let's go ahead and get Mech. Mech's going to cycle on back. There we are, finally in cover for Mech. Beautiful. Uh, we got to keep pulling Data King back. This guy came a little bit closer, but you know what? Let's get... You know what? Data King's already up. He's going to move on in and lock. Lock that 65. They got someone right behind him. We got Chappie. Go straight to core. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, holy crap. Maymoth. Maymoth, thank you so much for the gift of subs. Thank you so much for the cheers. I really appreciate it. And holy crap, you started a hype train. That's incredible. Thank you. I really appreciate it, man. All right, Shidian. Drop this guy. This is his a very last salvo on Earth. We got 73. Come on, come on, come on. Leg out, leg out, leg out. All right, I'll take it. And down he goes. Absolutely fantastic. So he's not going to be able to spot for them. He's not going to be able to provide cover. He's pretty much completely neutered. 
There is another mech right next door. There's two more. So this is the last three of that star before taking on the assassination target. So far, no assaults. Actually pretty surprised by that. We got a 60, probably another vulture. That's serious, serious firepower. So we're going to make sure that Data King is safe. So we'll just go ahead and pull Data King. We're going to give him the left. We're going to go ahead and lock up the 60. I guess, yeah, I want to lock up the 60 here. We'll lock up the 60. I'm pretty sure it's a vulture, right? It is a vulture. It is the standard vulture. We got Chappy. We got Mech. Mech. No sight yet. Let's go ahead and hold. Hopefully he's going to move, yeah? I want him to come a little bit closer. All right, Mech. We'll cross over here. Beautiful. Uh, we got Chappy. Chappy's pulling forward to tank now. That's the way to do it. Hey, Lumina. How are you doing? Hopefully you're doing well. I'm, I know that you and your husband, congratulations again on all the happy, happy news. Right now, we're currently taking on our very first five skull difficulty clanner fight against Clan Ghost Bear, and it's an assassination mission against a supernova, a big group, yeah? Oh, holy crap. Chappie, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I really appreciate it, man. If you could show some love in chat for Chappie, that'd be really, really great. All right, there's that 60, there's that vulture. Let's hold, hold, hold. All right, DK, cycle up. We're gonna lock the 60. We wanna drop the 60. Doing great, the morning sickness kicking in with four weeks, so it just, whoa. Well, you know what, it's for a, it's for a good cause, for a good cause, so I, I'm just, I'm glad you're okay. Keep, keep us updated, always good to know, yeah? All right, here comes Chappie, and we'll go straight to core. And 41, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna follow that up with Mech. And he is also gonna go straight to core and drop that Vulture. Vulture down. I guess the dream team. We've got Chappie and Mech working together flawlessly while Shadian moves up the tank because he's a longbow 7Q and Lumina would tell us to cycle all of our armor to keep ourselves alive. Daily update on Discord. <laughs> If you like, if you would like, I'm honestly, don't let it be a burden on you. Don't let it be a hassle, but we always love to hear from you, Lumina. All right, so far, so good. Let's see, we've got the 65. It's just a Loki right now. He's lost his electronic warfare suite and everything. So, so far, so good. We've got Data King. We'll lock up. No, not close enough yet. V meat. V meat. Oh, you mean vat meat? <laughs> All right, Chappie, full sprint. Let's go. Ready for order. There we go. Be aware that we can all be troops for HB. Just don't expect us to... <laughs> I copy. And yep. Shidian. All right, all in, all in. Understood. No, V-Bird's yeah. meat. V-Bird. Is that like a, a victory bird or a turkey or something like that? Oh, man, they're pulling away. Holy crap. All right, Shidian's all in. Full sprint, full sprint. Let's go, bunnies. We've got to go. They're luring us in. I know that there's two more out there, so we've got to be cautious. They are crafty, these... Oh, vulture meat! Oh my goodness, thank you so much. A vulture bird meat, indeed. Wow, I missed that one. Heard it's time to sacrifice another bunny. The meat supplies are kind of low. Lumina, you're... <laughs> Lumina's always the one telling us to protect our bunnies. I don't know where this is coming from. All right, they've got another vulture bird out there. Vulture bird... There it is! Cross her fingers! Double gauss, double gauss! And we're out in the open. Of course they caught us off guard, bunnies. We gotta be careful here. Holy crap. All right, Chappie, you gotta save us. You gotta save us. Cycle it back, Chappie. And focus. Sometimes, you know what? Straight to core. Straight to core. All right, decent hits. Decent hits in 95. Jason, volunteer. <laughs> I like how... Uh, okay, that's gotta be the assassination target or the bodyguard. Yeah, hormones, HP, hormones. And I have a lot of them, almost for two. Oh my. I don't doubt it. I really don't. And straight to core. I Yes, V bird meat. You asked, and you shall receive. Heck yes. Oh heck yes, we got a hype train emo. Fancy that. Oh, poor Jason. <laughs> Why don't we just uh, scrape up the triple clanner burger meat Chappy made earlier? But yes, he's actually made more than three. I would say. All right, let's go over the edge. Full sprint, full sprint. We got that 65 tonner out there. Am I still second on the list? Pirate, yes, you are. And you know what? We are going to use that list on our very next career. I know the bunnies so far are leaning towards playing high 80s rim. So that is something that you will be a part of for sure. 
I prefer organic food. <laughs> well, you know, vulture birds are organic in some some way. Holy crap. We have taken so long that... There it is, bunnies. We got a hundred tonner. We got a hundred tonner. Oh! All right. So we finally lost a limb. We lost a clan gauss rifle. Oh, all right, DK. Come on, DK. Gosh, that guy. What a bummer. I don't right now. All right, straight to core. And Loki down. I don't right now, pirate. However, I will find it. If you go to Nexus Mods and just look up Hyades Rim Battletech, you should find it, yeah. Clanners are not good for the bunnies. Feeding clones with other clones not from the same supplier will cause lots and lots of issues. I think he means for Hyades Rim. I don't know about this. Hyades Rim. <laughs> All right. It's spelled eight. My goodness. My goodness, friend. It's, it's spelled like this. There you go. <laughs> That's very clever, though. High 80s. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and hold. Holding for the right There's that 100 tonner. We got a 100 tonner. I don't know if this is the bodyguard. Oh! Okay, we might have a bit of an issue. We just lost both arms. We got a breach on the right side. Data King's in that one. Let's get him out. Holy crap. All right. Um... All right. Ooh, what are you talking about? Everything was better in the 80s. Okay, so... Chappy, 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 Okay, Mac and Shidian, Shidian. Shidian can pull over. All right, sprint forward with Shidian. Here we go. All right, Data King's volunteering for the... <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. D Data King's fine. He's going to be fine. All right, Chappy, all out, all out. Full sprint, full sprint. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Did we... I think we lost... What did we lose? We lost a Clan UAC 20, a Clan Yara Large Laser, and a Clan Gauss Rifle. Good to go. Okay, good to know for the salvage, because we know we're going to win. Darn street. New command, high 80s. <laughs> Data King is always on the menu. I mean, is always the menu. Oh, no. No, of course not. All right, pull away, DK. Pull away. Uh, let's give him our left. Full sprint away. Full sprint. Chappy, crossover. We're going to engage them on the hill. Mechs at a distance going to provide direct fire support. Well, he was more than 13 times on the menu. <laughs> I like organic food. Then I learned vegetarian was Latin for a bat hunter. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, Shadian's up front. All right, what are we dealing with? We got an 80 below and the 100 tonner. I'm not too sure if the 100 tonner is the actual target or if it is the the bodyguard. Here we go. Lock for DK. Lock him. Yeah. <laughs> We got a Kodiak. All right, bunnies, we got a Kodiak. Ghost Bear, so the 100 tonner is probably a Kodiak. Headshots. All right, all right, all right. We, we do have two pick 10 on this. This uh, We won't be able to get a full one, but this is exciting. If the 100 ton is the namesake mech, watch out for a Gauss rifle or a UAC-20. All right, all right. Here it is. Here it is. I want to see this up close. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, that was brutal, whatever it hit us with, right? Look at this. Oh, bunnies. Look at this. It's got a camel groin. Oh, whoops. Look at that camel groin. Headshot time. Look at that evil face. And the claws. Gosh darn it, this camera. God, it's such a big guy. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh, well, you know, we got Chappie. So. Sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks hit. Straight to the head like a hero in three, two, and one. All right, no joy, no joy. That's okay. Ready for orders. Come on, Mech. All right, so we got to give him our right. Give him our right. Here we go. Stay out. On the move. App it, Chappy, directly to the forehead. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it. Straight to the head. On it. Burn, 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 burn. No, no joy, no joy. Wild Kodiak. All right, cycle it back. And let's drive him a little bit unsteady. He's going to be a little tough for it, yeah? Solid hits. Holy crap, Von Scherbach, thank you so much for the resub for 15 months. We got a Just for Kicks It. Just for Kicks It indeed. And unfortunately, we tore off that left torso, but it's going to keep us a little bit safer. So let's go ahead and hold and let it move if possible. Apparently, that is just the bodyguard because it didn't give us a message about who we're fighting against. Pokemon fight music intensifies. And up. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Is he going to hold? Is he going to hold? We got Chappie. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Target, taking a critical 
Oh, he's still there. He's still there. All right, move, move. You act 20. You got it. You got it. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. We were a little not gentle. <laughs> I will take a part. I will take a part. That's fine. Do I try to get a bit more sleep or do we get coffee and start the day? Wow, his head was headshot proof. <laughs> Serious. All right, what do we got? We got an 80 tonner below is probably a man of war as our target. A free UAC 20. Well, we lost one and now we gain one. All right, DK, what do we got down there? Let's go ahead and lock him up. Get your revenge. Lock it, lock it. Man of War, there it is. That's our target right there. Full sprint, full sprint. Coffee with a Red Bull kill. Oh my God, don't hurt the baby. Holy crap. Yeah, lots and lots of rest, our street. But this Lumina that we're talking about here. All right, let's go ahead and cycle it over and dump the 80. That's our target, that's our target. He's got his own Gauss rifle. We gotta replace a Gauss rifle, a Clan ER large laser, and on top of that, a Clan UAC-20. So it seems like we got the pick of the litter. We're gonna definitely gonna be able to get one part of that Kodiak after this, and hopefully replace some of what we have lost. All right, Chappy, you're up. Let's go ahead and lock. I have a year old child. There was nothing called rest. <laughs> full in, full in. Recline on a couch with a wine glass. Sounds even better. Give him the LRM-15. And shit, Ian. Go. I'm playing my own BXC campaign. Just took a mission in Davian space. I killed the bait mech quickly. First revealed unit in the strike lens. You got the bounty hunter? Holy crap, Jason, congratulations. That is an extremely rare find in the wild. That is incredible. Hope, do let us know what you get on it. I'm really, really curious because now he has his namesake mech and everything. Yes, that's amazing. In a mech. Oh, what? The Mad Cat Bounty Hunter? Holy crap. Oh, that's even better. Is it a special? Is it like a Mad Cat BH or something? That's amazing. All right, Chappie. Go straight to core. And 59. I'm in Davian space. All right, all right. You are rocking it, my friend. Holy crap, that's amazing. Hero mech. Oh, for the Mad Cat. Oh, that's awesome, Pirate. At 42 and 37 in the middle. We are now out of LRMs. This guy is done. Chappy straight to core. And there it is, bunnies. There it is. Heck yes. Well done. You managed to wipe the offer out. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to our plan, Del Z. Total win, bunnies. Total win. Will the Bunny League win this battle without pilot losses? That is a resounding yes. Congratulations to all those that had the faith. We saw our very first Kodiak. We were not very gentle, but we're going to walk away with a full piece of that. It's going to be incredible. So let's go ahead and swap the scene and see what we can get. We've got 270,000 positive. We lost a double heat sink, a couple, three double heat sinks, Clan Gauss rifle, and a Clan ER large laser. Not too bad, not a bad trade at all. A lot of experience overall. And there, we got two parts of a Kodiak. Heck yes, all right, bunnies. Well, we know what we have to pick. Kodiak one and Kodiak two. And roll it. Clan ER smoke. Clan Gauss rifle for replacement. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Heck yeah. So we've got half of a Kodiak. And since it's only 8.48 p.m., we might be able to get into another battle. A five skull difficulty battle against Clan Ghost Bear. And maybe we'll pick up the other half. That'll be incredible. Chappy to the rescue. That Kodiak tried to make bunny stew. It did. It, it really tore into Data King. It was wild, yeah. Gallon glass. Very easy to confuse the two. The red mech icons are AC... Uh, which which ones am i oh i probably missed some stuff yeah i need a wine glass with four to five liters then it's just one glass of wine a day <laughs> just posted a screenshot oh thank you so much jason this is really freaking exciting yeah oh look how many pulses it has thank you so much for sharing two clan large pulse Four clan medium pulse and tag. So he's going to tag you and then blast you pretty hard because it's going to amplify all that damage. Alls are going to hit. Yeah, that is ridiculous. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I had no, I've never seen him in the Mad Cat before. That's amazing, yeah? And that is on the Bunny League Discord in general chat, yeah? All right, let's see what we got. We got a lot of repairs. There's that Vulture. Let's hold back. We'll get our repairs forward. And then let's get into one more battle, a giant five skull difficulty battle. Hopefully finding another ghost, another ghost bear Kodiak, yeah? Poor Daishi W. Drink time. Oh, heck yes, pirate. No ears. Clearly, he doesn't deserve the Mad Cat. Uh, you know what you need to do. Uh, bust that guy in the head, darn straight. Clan double heat sink and replace. Uh, we've got a regular double heat sink out here, yeah? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, we're... Holy crap, we're out of regular double heat sinks. Who would have thunk it? All right, let's see. Gauss ammunition, we'll get that in there. Clan ER large laser. I'm pretty sure we've got more of those for sure. We're missing out on a double heat sink. We've lost... Clown Gauss Rifle and a Double Heat Sink. So we're out to Double Heat Sink. That's going to be pretty rough. Pretty, pretty rough to replace. But we got that Clown Gauss Rifle, so we'll get that in. In the meantime, we're just going to have to settle. I mean, we can toss this over to the side. We can get in a Clan Double Heat Sink in here. It's a little bit risky, but we'll do it. And then out of that, or better yet, what about an Exchanger? How hot is this? Oh, it's set... Our alpha is 70.55. <laughs> really? Oh, really? No way. There's no way that it's it's like that. Are you serious? No. 64.50. No. It was it was hotter than that before. Maybe I just need to like reset something or something. Yeah. More armor then. Uh, let's. Okay. I mean, sure. That seems a little strange though. That's nothing. I have an eight medium pulse laser ebon jaguar cauldron born running even negative on the heat. Sounds amazing. Ah, we got 0.25. So we, we, we have half a ton. Half a ton that we can fit in somewhere. You know what? What if we just... We'll just get a small laser. And we'll just stick a... We'll just stick a 10 damage small laser on there. I mean, why not? Or better yet, if it's a clan one, is it lighter? Is it lighter than that? How, how heavy is this? Clan ER small laser is 0.5. I guess you can go machine guns or something. We'll do that and then bring it down. There we go. There we go. AMS with ammunition. No need for ammunition in BXCE. AMS weighs 1.5 tons. So if we were to do that, we need to get back. You can bring this down to 200. Like that. Bring this down to 95. We got exactly one ton right here. Bring that up to 100. Go down two. And then if we bring in a clan double heat sink here, then we should be able to fit in AMS, yeah? Here we go. So this is plus two missile defense. Oh, did we did we miss out on half a ton already? Okay. 90 in the back and 105. There we go. So now we have AMS, yeah? No need for ammunition on this one. It's just a plus two missile defense aura and minus 15% incoming missile damage. So it pretty much just protects us from indirect fire yeah it's called the disco fox oh my all right not bad not bad rishnik's getting that repair it's gonna take us a few days so we'll hold three days out you know what bunnies it is a historic day not only are we getting ourselves into five skull difficulty battles but we're also going to go extravagant oh my we're going extravagant on this one. Why not? Or was generous enough? No, generous. Extravagant brings us full. All right. We're going extravagant. That means all of the carrots and celery for all the bunny link. Let it not be said that the bunny man is generous. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> all right. Yes, I know, Alexis. Uh, I would be surprised as well. After all, the bunny man is generous 100% of the time. All right, so now that we've got our repairs going, we're just going to go ahead and double check. Accept the invitation. Perfect. Oh, now he's a drunk. Hold. Peritolata, one day away. Hold. Let's go stop by the Mech Bay just to make sure that everything's on the up and up. Because that seemed a little odd that things would swap around so readily. Look at that. So, bunnies, are you seeing this? It must have been a tooltip thing. Look at the heat efficiency now. It's now negative. It's 64.93. So, that is why we changed things. So, we'll pull off the AMS here. Uh, we can bring ourselves to two tons so we can get two more heat sinks yeah we're at 90 and 85 let's go over can we fit any exchangers 95 should be good with an exchanger right toss that in two tons and 
6484, not too bad. HB, well, while you're making mechs damage, I'm playing mech mechanic sim. <laughs> welcome, Narek, welcome. And I'm so glad that you were taking care of all the mechs. Maybe you shall help us in battle, yes? HB being generous, it's a trap. <laughs> hey, Guyver, welcome. I'm currently playing with a four Shadow Cat Lance, all with double ER PPCs and ECM and jump jets. It is fun. Holy crap, that would be fast, sneaky, and mean. Stop by the barracks. Make sure all our pilots are good. We did get 3,200 experience on the last one, yeah? If I recall correctly, you can stack the different exchangers. One normal, one plus, one double plus. Well, right now we do have a double plus, and then we've got the normal one, so we've got two. So it seems like it's working so far, yeah? Mac, Maymoth, Mac. Saber, Shinny, and Shinny. So nothing that we can do there. That's totally fine. And let us see what we can get into. We've got about half an hour left. Lost contact. Recovery in the Highlands. We only want those five skulls. Yeah, we got Metal Clash. A battle in a polar biome. We've got Berserk. Load Runner. And Intelligence Agent. Well, obviously, we want Metal Clash. An elite clan Ghost Bear Star has eliminated our forces. They were damaged they were damaged from the previous battle. All right, this is exactly what we need. Here we are, we're going in full two pick 10 on this one. And bunnies, we have been extravagant and generous. Let's go in and bring in the same crew. They did such a fantastic job. Although instead of the Rishniks, what if we brought our UX instead? You know what? Should we? The Daishi has way more armor though. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the same one. They did such a good job. All right, here we go. Five skull difficulty battle in the polar biome. Will the bunny league... We'll just bring this back on up first. And then we'll reset this to make sure it's all okay. Will the bunny league win the battle without pilot losses? Let's find out. We're going in blind, Commander. No time to prepare terrain intel. Meyer, can you see the target star? Affirmative, XO. I've got them in sight. They're right about here. Oh, we got a Daishi. <laughs> Damn it. I was hoping for... Well, there might be a Ghost Bear, or might be a Kodiak out there. Hit him hard and get the hell out of there, Commander. I have a bad feeling about this one. Speaking of getting the hell out of here, when you're ready to evac, Commander, I'll pick you up here. Good night, all, but I know, bunnies, I care about y'all. Be well. Chappie, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Thank you so much for your kind words, and I hope that you and your wife have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and we'll catch you later, man. Have a wonderful one, Chappie. All right, what do we got? So let's take a look at the map first before we engage. We're right in the pocket. We're right in the corner. So let's go in and stay to the back. We'll climb the hill first. I'm not too sure if we can get up there. Yes, we can. Full sprint, full sprint. If I'm going to go ahead and scout with anyone, I suppose it's going to be mech this time. I know having Data King forward was nice because of the clan UX. So it's probably the smartest play. Well, we'll see. HB, the proper term is... Ooh, look, they got a Daishi. <laughs> Darn straight, darn straight. And sprint. Confirmed. Sprint around. We're crossing oh, over, yeah. staying on the high ground here. We have to oh, wait till wait. after he dies and we get new burgers before we can bite him. Oh my. I copy. All right, right to the edge. Right to the edge. We're avoiding enemy contact at all costs until we are in position. We're going to make a firing line from hill and we hopefully do not have to move at all. All right, DK tuck up. Get forward. Roger. Pretty safe flip. And shit in it. So HB and bunnies, I decided that I'll try to get more sleep. If Leah cries, I let my husband take care. Good night. I'm going to use the stream to fall asleep. Well, Lumina. In that case... Do we have any... Do we have any soothing music? <laughs> uh, Soothing music. Soothing music. All right, Lumina. Rest well, Lumina. Rest well. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Just go on as always. All right. You got it. You got it. Thank you so much. All right. Here we go. Line it up. Line it up. Here we go. Location confirmed. All right. We've got that 95 tonner. Probably a gladiator here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Chappy and hold. Roger. We got Data King with a Rich Nix. We'll cycle sprint left we got to get some pips pull up kind of right but meta would also work <laughs> and i got a night holy we got three 95 tonners there's three gladiators out here Jeez, louise oh my goodness all right hold 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 
Uh, who's up next? We've got one out here. And one out there. So I want to lock up the guy up top first. So let's go ahead and move over to the left. So, but now, good night. What's up, Tack? What's up? All right, lock him, lock him. I know my clans, all gladiators. Oh, you did, you did call. I just scrolled up to see. Let's see, we've got 95, 90, 95, and 95. So I'm assuming that 90 might be a Kingfisher or something, yeah? All right, let's get Mech. Mech's pretty darn amazing, so... Oh, and they are damaged. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Straight to core. Copy that. All right. All right, cycle, cycle. Oh, my God. Oh, we can wreck these guys. We're going to wreck these guys. Data King is piloting the Rishnix. You know, I've been playing Mech Warrior 5 with that guy a lot lately. Heck yes, Rishnix. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, let's go to... Cycle it down. There we go. You are doing a fantastic job, yeah? All right, cycle it. And send. And 66 in the middle. Good morning, folks. Rubbing myself the sand from my eyes. Hey, Dertz. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently in our very last battle. A five skull difficulty battle against Clan Ghost Bear. And let's finish off this gladiator. Apparently, they are severely damaged. 26 he's still standing somehow he better punch out you got to get out of there all right there he goes there he goes he thought so heck yes yeah. well i say that but i won't be able to afford it until it goes on discount i need to manage my budget i hear you there oh my goodness well they've only oh they've dropped 150 points of armor already in just the first turn yeah bunnies you're not gonna believe this but there is another drop ship inbound I'm marking their destination. It's a good bet it's more reinforcements. This just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, like, I kind of expected it, quite frankly. Receiving you. See, we got DK. Cycle over. I'm gonna give him a nice lock. We got 95. Lock him up. More salvage darn straight. Well, hopefully we'll be able to burn through these guys as quickly as possible. Oh, jeez. I am not liking that at all. Poor Data King keeps getting wrecked. <laughs> Jeez Louise. All right, Chappie, you know what? You know what we need, bunnies. We need Chappie. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. All right. <laughs> Too bad Chappie left already. Holy crap. All right, Chappie. Good job. Good job. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, Mech, cycle up, cycle up. Let's go ahead and lock the closest. I know they've got an 85, they got a 90. Let's lock that 85. All right, got Masakata, beautiful. If you need a bargain, then Stellaris with a few expansions is on Humble for $15. It is quite good. I actually have Stellaris myself. I'm really, really excited to check that out, but we're currently playing uh, Battlefleet Gothic Armada, yeah? And Sen. Hey, bunnies, just a little question since I have no personal experience with BEX or 2. Uh, what's up, Dad? What's up? Ask away. Ask away, my friend. You can ask anything. And 95. More gladiators. Oh, no. By Kerensky's heart, I will destroy these barbarians myself. Oh, that's ominous. Stow it, Meyer. Commander, it looks like a reinforcement star. We're not getting paid to fight the reinforcements, so engage at your discretion. We're not getting paid? So we clean up the primaries, get the hell out of here. I'll be on station, boss. All right, it looks like they've got even more gladiators. I think there's like seven gladiators on the field. <laughs> oh, God. All right, let's see. What do we got? What do we got? We got Chappy. We got Mech. All right, Mech. We'll go in and lock. Lock the 90. And a Kingfisher. It is a Kingfisher. Is it necessary to download the community asset bundle again? Is it, it self-auto-updating like the way Rogue Tech is? It's not. It doesn't have a launcher. So BXE doesn't have a launcher like Rogue Tech or Battletech Advanced. Um, I don't think you really need to download the cab again. However, that having been said, if you've already downloaded the cab with the installer, uh, it already has a cache. There's a, a cab cache. So it should be a lot faster the second time if you just want to refresh it. But you shouldn't have to. You should be able to keep those four folders and just do the deed, yeah? All right, well, with a Masakari, we'll straight to core. Masakari down for Chappie. Kill number three. 
I think those are not all of them, but they add some really cool stuff. I've been sprinting and vigilancing. Vi I like it, vigilancing. <laughs> and vigilancing my banshee from cover to cover as a decoy while my Phoenix Hawk scout kept the bounty hunter locked. For my stalker and battle master, I would have rather saved him for a last to try for more salvage, but he was too dangerous, so I had to take him out first. He just popped him. Congratulations, congratulations. Well, I'm curious if you can actually salvage part of his mech or not, you know, if it's a special variant and all. So do let us know, yeah? Good to go. Are we shitty and stay high, stay high? And drop into that Kingfisher. I love the fact that they're they're injured right now, yeah? That they're really, really soft. Got lots of breaches everywhere. It's beautiful. They've obviously been in a quite a fight. Kingfisher in on mech. God, that, I'm getting flashbacks to the end of Saturday. <laughs> Solid, solid hits. Double Kingfishers charging us in the sky. All right, Gladiator Prime. Gauss Rifle. Animus. Beautiful. Have you ever had mechs load in as nothing but a completely pink, purple, glowing silhouette? Yes, a lot. Usually in urban biomes where it takes longer to load, yeah? I've seen it happen before, but now it's starting to happen in the mech bay. That I have not seen. I haven't seen it in the mech... Uh... We got a third contact. Ghost Bear Markings could be making a pickup. You better assume it's inbound reinforcements. Heads up, Commander. You may have some company. All right, so we have a third, third star. <laughs> Jeez. All right, we better drop these guys fast. Okay, DK, line it up, line it up. Here we go. In, in, in. Data King in the Rish Nix. Full, straight to court. All right, Kingfisher down. Next, Gladiator Prime. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. All right, we got, we got Chappy on tap next. Here we go. Drop this last one. Or we got Chappie. Chappie set. We'll go straight to court. Solid hits. All right. First star down. Now we've got two. <laughs> All right. All right, Chappie, move forward. Here we go. The pink silhouette is a unity thing, I think, when there's a memory problem. We got another clan ghost bear star on the field, Commander. It's getting awfully crowded out there. Oh, what do they got? I see a man of war. A gladiator. I think, was that two gladiators and a Masakot? I can't tell from back here. Holy crap. All right, we got two more. Uh, I think we pissed them off, folks. Agreed. Commander, those new contacts are optional, and there's no bonus for taking them out. The situation is falling apart rapidly. I recommend that you finish up and get to DLZ as quickly as possible. Oh, uh, we are not quick. The primary targets are down, Commander. Get the hell out of there before you're completely overrun. I'm headed in fast and low, Commander. The LZ's hot. Do not keep me waiting. A two what? <laughs> Surviving is a primary objective. We may be in trouble. Oh, serious? Your entire lance must have... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, boy. I really like the one that adds a planet-cracking juggernaut and the giant space dragons to fight mid-late game. Oh, boy. Let's... Well, they're still going. God, they're still moving? What in the world? Okay. Standing by. Let's... I mean, if they're going to come to us... Here we go. Here we go. Reposition Super Azicus. Reposition Chappy. Uh, reposition the Rishniks. Oh, thank you so much, Biscoff Bro, for helping out Deads. I just caught up with what you were saying. Yes, absolutely. It's the new cab has the four bundle, the four folders. You're absolutely right. Yeah. No, thank you so much. And plus, they had a they had an update pretty recently as well. Yeah. I think it was just this month. Gosh, I'm a little nervous. They have a lot of a lot of time here. What are we dealing with here? We got 95 tonner. All right, so we got probably another gladiator here. We got a rich snakes. We'll split it on over and we'll get shitty in through. Thank you so much, Tug. Four mech versus two to three stars. Yes. Make that three stars. Three stars at least. 95, 95, 90. <laughs> Tack, did you jinx us? Every single star has at least three gladiators in it. <laughs> Jesus, this is our evac zone. Oh my God. Well, you know what? Let's let's pull back. We're going to force them to come to us, bunnies. We're pulling back. We're pulling back. We're going to force them to come. Pull back with Chappie. Let them come through. We've got a killing zone here. 
DK. Cycle over. I got really lucky in getting my gladiator so early. Two in a single mission. Killed just both of them and bailed. Got all four mech salvage parts from it. Cycle back. And we're going to go ahead and lock at a distance gladiator A. Are we going to find every single gladiator variant? This is ridiculous. It's a race to the LZ. No, we're, we're holding up. We have... 80 tons, so it's the Man of War, yeah. And these are full armor. These are full armor. Clan mechs with MASC. Yes, that's correct, Pirate. We might run out of ammunition at this point, yeah? Let's hold. I'm not going to hit that. Just head them all. Headshot them all. <laughs> yeah, it's easy. Totally fine. Oh, they're going wide. They're going wide. Going for a flank here. Is this... Oh, we got another gladiator. And another gladiator. <laughs> so we have gladiator one, gladiator two, gladiator three, an 80 and an 85. All right, hold. Good to go. Sidestep. I want to get out of this funnel right here. And we're just going to be locking for our bunnies. Yeah, we'll lock this 95 out here. Got a lock. Gladiator D. We've got Gladiator A. We have Gladiator D. We have Gladiator Prime. We've got... <laughs> Does anyone like Gladiators? Jeez Louise. All right, Chappie. Well, you know what? This is Chappie, so we'll cycle back and sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight to the head. Ah, oh, we tried. We tried. Well, he's a little soft on the side. 124. We should be able to rip off that right torso with Shidian. Oh, we got mech. Mech's not gonna... The two lead mechs are not gonna be shooting. So we'll just cycle back and shitty and all in from that damage side. 22, 3. There's the breach. And 12. 12 on the right side. The buddy league curse for sure. That is ridiculous. Yes, Commander. Say so they want to be close, huh? Let's suck in. 80. What do we got? Man of War. We got a Man of War. God, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven mechs right in front of us. <laughs> Need to build a mech with artillery on it. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the only artillery that we can get is the Thumper Cannon, or you can build a mortar, and the mortar only has one shot, and that's it. So, pretty much our best bet is to get LRM boats in BXE. Yeah? At least it has sustain where the others do not, and the others are really, really close range. Yeah. I feel like I should mention that Gladiator I got was from my Brigade of Panthers. It is the first Assault and Clan mech that I got in this playthrough. Heck yes, congratulations, Rishnix. Gladiator is a really good platform, yeah? And it also has fixed... It has fixed jump jets in the legs, yeah? Good to go. All right, let's hold. This is going to be a brawl, isn't it? Unless we just stay out and just lock them out. We'll just lock them all out. And we'll use Chappie to deal damage. Trying to come over by the right, so we just gotta we still have to keep our distance, yeah. We'll pull down. 80, 85, 95. I guess we'll lock high. Gladiator B. This guy's out in the open, so he's prime target for Shidian, yeah. Shidian's all set. And we'll dump into the exposed gladiator up here. No arrow four mix. Yeah, no arrow four in BXE. I lost a jump jet in my last battle, but when I did the repairs, it gave me a new one automatically. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. It's fixed. It's a fixed part of that mech, yeah? All right, Chappie and hold. Need to get a clan Naga mech. Oh, well... I know in Rogue Tech, the Nagas, they had Arrow 4, but I don't know what they would be equipped with in BXE, but that'll be really cool. I would totally be down. I hear that they're a good fire support mech, yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm still seeing 7. I know there's at least 10 out there. So a little curious. Unless one of them was actually a Lance and not a Star. God, AoE would be great. <laughs> I mean, I just really wish I had my bull shark right now, but I really am feeling like we're going to need the armor, so. Lock. All right, good. This is the one that was damaged. I will just cycle back with DK. We need to just eliminate them one by one where we're not in danger before we engage because they're going to start stripping armor so quickly 
by the time they get there. So we'll just tear off that side. All right, solid hits for Chappie. He only has a small laser. Beautiful. We hit the right side. I will cycle over. So this guy just has a small laser. Here comes Mech. No shots for Mech. So we'll just start cycling back. We'll start cycling back. I'd like to get him and Chappie to stand in the same place. So here's the play bunnies. We're going to go ahead and get Mech and Chappie to stand right at the point where if anyone wants to kind of like line up with this death funnel right here, they're going to be able to shoot. And Data King's going to be waiting on the side here, farthest away from all the mechs, kind of drawing them closer. If they want to engage with him, he does have that clan UAC-20, so he'll be able to hit anyone in the flank with a UAC-20 if they come through the pass. We do have to worry about people up here, but if they're up here, they're exposed, so they're not going to be in cover. So overall, I think that's how we're going to have to play it, yeah? Of course, Shidian's probably going to start running out of ammunition pretty soon, so it's going to be kind of wild. I don't know if they're actually going to commit and charge through, yeah? So Chappie goes to sleep, then gets laid out as bait. <laughs> He's not bait. He's fire supremity. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Where are the rest of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I still see only seven. Where are the rest of them? This is kind of scaring me. Hold. All right, DK. Move into position. Lock. I've got a sensor lock. That guy's done. He's out in the open. He's pretty much just given us armor to shoot at. All right, they finally come all the way around. This is fine. And we got mech. Mech will cycle back. On my way. And we'll drill straight through the opposite side. Roger. Heck yes, and he's just a stick. Beautiful. Come on, punch out, punch out. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. And he's still standing, which means he's providing sight. That is not good at all, yeah? All right, we got Shidian. Well, let's go ahead and get Chappie instead. I want to use energy weaponry if possible. Oh, we have to come out in the open. I don't like it, but Chappie's out. Vigilance up to keep him safe. We're going to go ahead and drop any ammunition base and send. He's not going out. Oh, there's that sight nailed Data King in the head. Hold. Oh, we got to get rid of this guy. Okay. I was I was trying to be too frugal, too frugal. So we'll just send, how much does he have? 49. We'll drop the 10 and the 15 and send half. Here we go. Should be more than enough. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Spotter's down. Spotter's down. Ooh, we took a head. We took a shot to the head just because we... Let that spotter live too long. HP save, ammo, energy on the stick mix. Yeah, no. We were trying to use just the energy, but we probably should have guaranteed that the spotter goes down instead. So Data King took unnecessary damage and a shot to the head. We do have this flanker coming out here. Gladiator is pulling over. Oh, this guy's about to get blasted, but he is providing sight for everybody. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. They're getting ballsy bunnies. They know they outnumber the Bunny League right now. We're like 300 in the past. Oh, it's on now. All right, Chappie. Step it over. Heading out. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it. Straight to the head. Come on, Chappie. Oh, we didn't turn on the Gauss rifles. We didn't turn on the Gauss rifles. Oh, all right. This is fine. This is fine. We're okay. All right, DK, you're up. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it. Straight to the head. Solid hit. Enemy down. <laughs> all right, spotter's down. Spotter's down. There we go. All right, there we got a flank. We, we got a flanker here. We got a flanker. All right, out, out, out. Sent. Oh, we got a breach. Beautiful. 18, 18. He's got a UAC-20 on that side, so let's go in and rip that off. Is this the UAC-20 side? Is this all the double heat sinks? All the double heat sinks. All right, send. All right, they got a the high ground. They're coming over the top. They're coming over the top. My armor off. All right, Shinian. All in, all in. Exploit the same side. We've got blue. Straight into the same damage side. Full in and send. All right, half gone. 
And we have 230 in the middle. 230 in the middle. He does have that UAC 20, though. If he's got breaching shot, that's going to be horrible. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we found our eighth mech. There's still probably two out there right now. Mission successful. <laughs> not yet, not yet. All right, Chappie. He's up top. Clan Gauss rifles on and straight to core. Yeah! <laughs> Man, we're down. Heck yes, Chappie. We don't even have to go for the head. This is ridiculous. All right, Chappie. Move on forward. Well, you do have that UAC to worry about. So pull away, pull away. Oh, come on. Once I got rid of the bounty hunter, the rest of the lance was easily outmaneuvered. Heck yes. Good job, Jason. Congratulations. Holy crap. Losing armor. All right, Mac. All right, DK, DK. You have sight. We're out of range, out of range. All right, mechs up, mechs up. All right, cycle him back. And tear off that UAC and go. 14th, UAC is down, UAC is down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, he's just a stick now, he's just a stick. I want direct line of sight. Here we go, here we go. And go. Burn him. And 29. We have 179 in the middle. But some of those clan weapons are available as salvage. So no mad cat parts. Heck, if you're getting clan weaponry already, that's amazing, my friend. Congratulations. Congratulations on the play. Now let's drop this stick. He is the spotter and go. We'll at least be able to knock him down. 63, 56, and 51. And down he goes. Beautiful. Hopefully he'll punch out. Heck yes. We got this. We got this. Now we've dropped three. All right, Mech is currently the main target. He's got six left and a breach. We lost a double heat sink on that side. That's on his left, so we got to give him the right. So we'll go ahead and pull away. That UAC-20 really opened him up. They are now overwhelming us. We have multiple spotters, so no longer can we just eliminate the spotter and expose it and hope to survive. All right, how are we doing, Mech? Mech has a chance, so we're going to go in and rotate our right to him. We have to come out. I don't want to come out. All right, Chappie. Chappie, you're up. Now we're going. We got the Man of War, or we got the Gladiator. We're going for the Man of War, straight to court. Not what we need, not what we need. That's okay, that's okay. We just got to get Mac, Mech back right now. We'll give our right. And brace. Brace for Mech. DK, you're up. Cycle out. Snapshot. Go. To the Masakari, to the Masakari. All right, so he's a little bit softer in the middle. Not quite what we need. All right, Shidian. Send. We're focusing on the side. 61. We have 129. 129 on the left of the Masakari. All right, they're coming in threes now. So we got that Gladiator. This is okay. This is good. This is good. We're spreading the shots out. Currently, it looks like we've got six more, six more to fight. So far, we've gone through seven. We've got seven kills to the Bunny League's name. All right, Chappie, you're up. Focus. Straight to core. All right, that's looking good. That's looking good. We've got 28, 28 in the middle. We got a bit of a donut here. Uh, let's go in and push Chappie forward. He's got more armor than the rest of us, yeah? Yes, Commander. Come on, Mick. Send. And then we'll pull away. We'll pull away. We gotta give him our right. Keep giving him our right. We're gonna pull away from that the entrance to the kill zone. Alright, they're coming through, bunnies. They're coming through. And DK is the keeper of this pass. So let's go ahead and cycle away so that we're driving into the interlopers. Here we go. 
We're going to drop the UAC for now. And send. We need to rest that UAC. All right, HP, I survived my mission. Now you got to pull through yours. Heck yes, Jason. Send. Last stand. This is where we this is where we fight. This is where we stand and fight, pirate. By the way, is everybody alive or did Bunny Man kill someone in a blaze of glory? Everyone is alive. Heck yes. Straight to the right. Alright, so we got a breach on the right now. Poor mech. Man, mech's getting torn apart. Gauss rifles, clean air large lasers. The Masakari is probably gonna shoot at mech next. Shoot out at the fort. We gotta pull mech away. Maybe he's gonna be sprinting on the next one. Yeah, they're coming through, they're coming through. Mech's pulling away. I copy. God, they're all coming through. All right, Chappy, Data King. Here we go. Data King's coming in from the side. He's got that UAC, so he should be good to go. We got the Masakari in the middle, you know. Tear off that side. Heck yes. Beautiful. 17 in the middle, Bunny. 17 in the middle. Okay, so let's pull back, pull back, pull back. Where's a giant axe mech murderer when you need one? Darn straight tank. Heck yes. Come on, Chappie. Drop that Masakati. All right, Masakati down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep it rolling. Stick mech now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they are. Oh, solid hits to Data King from afar. Time to start using the internal heat sink. <laughs> All right, Shidian. Pull back. Who have, we, who have we been attacking so far? We're almost out of ammunition, so we got to make these count. Are we driving into the Man of War and send? Speaking of giant axe murderers, hello, Tank. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but we're going to make it happen. Clan Eat Sink destroyed. So we're going to be running it kind of hot. It's got breaches everywhere. Holy crap, there's got to be a Daishi out there. There's got to be a Daishi out there. Red mech suit day. No, 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 no. No one, no one is sacrificial today. Everyone's going to live. We all have to live. Your entire lance Let's must go. survive, right? Here they come. All right, Chappie. Line it up. Burn. Solid hit. And he's got 119 in the middle. Chappie's solid. So he's been... Chappie's untouched. We're pushing into him. Here we go. He's to the front. He's to the front. He's going to go hunt down the Berserker next after the Kodiak. I haven't seen a Berserker. Is there a Berserker in BXEE? That's what I want to know. I don't know, Attack. I've never seen one, yeah? Do they have one? Uh, I don't even know where to go back. with it. Commander. All right, we got DK. Oh. DK cycling up. There he is. Oh, my God. I want it. I want it. Sin. 42. 42 in the middle. The range guy is another Masakari. Oh, thanks, Tank. Thank you. Good to go. Mech, cycle it back. Cycle it back. And all in. All weapons are go. Yeah! <laughs> all right. Berserker is real. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Do you know who you would fight in order to get one? That sounds incredible, yeah? And this is our last for Shidian. The last salvo and go. Come on. Fight a bunch of Steiner assaults. All right, Tack. They seem pretty rare, though. I've never seen one in my life, yeah? The Masakati is a massive axe, so the giant axe mech murderer I was talking about was the Masakati. Well, let's see. We got Chappies all set. We've got mech. Mech will send straight to core. Solid, solid salvos there. Beautiful. He's fully braced on this one. He's got that breach. Mech will give him... I guess we'll just rotate a little bit this way. We don't want to lose a torso. I'd rather lose an arm than a torso, so we'll give him our right. Uh, we got DK. Clan UAC is back online. Now we'll focus. Well, let's nail the leg. Oh, holy crap. I thought both of those hit. <laughs> Out of ammo there. Chappie. Can we get in? Can we get in? He's just going to hit anywhere. Don't know where he's going to hit. Oh, solid. 
512. Reporting. Critical hit. God, this is brutal. How many are there? Let's see. We've got at least... We have three more and one. So we've got four more out there somewhere. All right, swing. Let's go. Going for a kick to the mech. You mean like this? <laughs> that's all we could do. Poor shitty. And he's like, that's it. I'm out. Eight tons of missiles. All gone. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to have to move our longbow in to start tanking those shots from the reinforcements until we can drop this guy, yeah? All right, DK, can you get in from the back? There we go. We've got the green. Focus straight to the rear. All right, there we go. There we go. Spotter down. Spotter down. We've got three left. Three left on the field. One of them's a gladiator for sure. We've got an 80 tonner, probably another man of war. All right, Chappie. Let's get some evasion pips going. We got three more, three more. Mech's gonna <laughs> run the heck away. All of us have to survive. We have to survive to win this, yeah? And Shidian might as well charge forward. <laughs> he has no ammunition. At least we get to arrest Data King, yeah? They don't see us. Hold. Reserving action. Let's see. Can we get... It's too bad Shidian cannot... Uh... Well, he can get sight. We're going to move in, and then we're going to brace with Shidian. He is our wall. <laughs> we must survive. Charge. Darn straight. That's the only way to do it. Look at that. He braced. He's only taking 60%. He's drawing all of the fire. Not going to be able to do that for very long, but it'll happen. Hey, Bamboozle. You made it just in time, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently... Uh, doing a five skull difficulty clan fight against clan ghost bear and we've come across three different stars let's drill straight to core solid hits and 25 left for the man of war looking a little wild shitty and needs coolant vents <laughs> yes he does send man of war down we got two left bunnies we got two left isn't that the evac zone i see right next to your mix Wait, what? What is an evac zone? <laughs> oh, kill all. Kill all. Everyone's going to be fine. It's, it's all going to be good. All right, we got DK. DK's all set. We're going to go in and rest that UAC. Uh, we'll just keep back, and we're just going to send two large lasers and some LRM-15s. That's about all that we can do at this point, you know? So we got mech. Focus straight to core. Solid hit, solid hit, 60 in the middle. They were guarding it. It's the big red button in your cockpit labeled eject. <laughs> it's not our fault that they got in the way. Come on, Chappie, and go. One left. <laughs> we have now destroyed 14 mechs on the battlefield. Keep going, boys, keep going. All right, let's go ahead and hold. We're going to rest. Everybody rest. We got to regroup here. We got to regroup. Who is out there? Who's left? Come on, Shady, and move it. We got one. We got one. Who would have thunk it? It's another gladiator. <laughs> so many gladiators. It's ridiculous. All right, hold. Embrace. All right, champion. We're going to be... Let's get... I guess Mech's going to stay on high. And Shidian is going to flank with our LRM boat. <laughs> All in. Let's go. Go, go, go. We're going to wait until Shidian's in position because he's the key to the strategy. Sprint around. Work your way to the LZ, please. No, no, we're fine. Clanners don't understand the value of diversity. No, we got this. We got this made. Here we go. Maybe I shouldn't curse you with my foresight of what makes you fight. You mean like 10 gladiators? <laughs> Hold and brace. Those guys stole the whole production facility for gladiators. <laughs> Our gladiator prime. So we got a clan gauss rifle on that sucker. Two ER large lasers. Solid. All right. Full sprint. Full sprint for Azicus. Hold. What are you doing? What are you doing? Lock him. Hopefully he'll move. All right, Shidian. 
stay just out of sight. We're coming for this guy. Shitting's gonna be the real clutch winner here. Let's see. Vigilance for Chappie. Get up. Send. Solid hits. Ain't nothing but net. Heck yes, we got this made. How we got mech. I just found a box of candy canes in the back of the pantry from three years ago. And they're still good. <laughs> All right, bunnies. All right, Data King. Hold. Waiting for my opening. Oh, I don't think we can come down from here, can we? Does it make sense to charge? All right, well, let's go up. Brace. Chappy. And sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. And we got a head, I guess. All right, drill into him, drill into him. Get in there, mech. Watch his shitty and aggressively open and close the missile bit. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. And back it down. Master attack for sure. Just pop up. You can't touch him. Our right, DK's in. Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> I forgot he has a UAC. Holy crap. That surprised me. And sprint on over. Here's the thing. Even if he had sensor lock, it's not going to do him any good because he's going to be able to lock. And then after that. Oh, well, that's not too bad. I guess. All right. Well, you know, as Chronic said, Shadian's up there just going. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think. I think he can't. Oh, he can't even sprint down. You got the King Crab with the double UAC up and running. I do. I do. But it didn't seem like the right thing for here. We would be out of ammunition so quickly if we brought that instead, yeah? Solid hits. Come on, punch out, punch out. You've got nothing. You've got nothing. You've got nothing. Yeah! <laughs> All targets eliminated. Sit tight. I can collect you from where you are right now. All right, buddies. Total win. Total win. Will the Bunny Link win this battle without pilot losses against three stars? of clan, ghost, bear, clanners. That is a resounding yes. Congratulations to those who had the faith. All right, let's see, we got HB, go for the head, DK. Proceeds to plant both UAC 20s to the legs. <laughs> so true. Easy mission for the bunnies, three stars of gladiators. I know, seriously, who would ever thought that we'd see so many gladiators in our life? Well, I would imagine that we might get lucky and walk away with a full gladiator. I redeemed a farewell I see still open. Oh, seriously? I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. That was 10 minutes ago. Thank you so much for the redemption. I really appreciate it. We have our 500,000 Scoville Nugget Chili Vodka. Thank you, Dads. And bottoms up. Oh. That went right in my nose. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> Thank you so much for the redemption. I really appreciate it, Dad. Oh. Hey, Jerry Curtis. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You reached us right at the very end. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful, wonderful time. Welcome. All right, bunnies. Let's see what we got. 4,800 experience across. Didn't lose anything here. Oh, that was hot. My goodness. Uh, what do we got? All right, we've got some gladiator parts. Gladiator A, Gladiator B, Gladiator D, Gladiator Prime, Kingfisher, Man of War, Man of War Prime, Masakati B, Masakati C, Masakati Pro. <laughs> so many assaults. So many assaults. Just redeem some soothing stuff. Oh, thank you so much, Chronic. I really appreciate it. Inside here, we have Raven's Cool Chill D. Oh, that is so good. Gladiator parts. Who knew? <laughs> we 
Well, you know, let's see. Clan ER large lasers. I kind of feel like out of all of this, what we actually need are double heat sinks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab two double heat sinks and see if we walk away with a full gladiator. <laughs> oh my God, that's a lot of clan double heat sinks. That is a lot of clan double. Is there anything? I mean, clan just don't have anything super unique down at the bottom past the double heat sinks. Yeah, like they don't have exchangers and things like that. Soothing Steph wasn't redeemed. Oh, it was by Chronic. He did. He did. Gyros and that's it. All right, I'm going to grab two clan double heat sinks. Cross your fingers and let's see what we got. All right, we got two gladiator parts. <laughs> we got two gladiator parts and we've got Let's see, we've got two Gladiator parts, a Clan ER Large Laser, Clan Gauss Rifle, Clan LB5X, Clan Machine Gun, Clan SRM6, and we never get Clan Double Heat Sinks as, as rewards, but you know, that's not too bad at all. All right, bunnies. Heck yes. Well, bunnies, congratulations again. That was pretty incredible. Can't believe we walked out. No deaths at all. Is this a month? Yes, it is. It's BEXCE Jerry Curtis. You can. You can find it right there for free if you got Battletech. It is a, it's completely for free. Uh, it's one of the big overhaul mods along with BTA, Rogue Tech, uh, Battletech Revised, and we're going to be playing Hyades Rim pretty soon. So, Bunnies, thank you so much for all of the good fun. I really, really appreciate you hanging out with me. And oh, oh wait, the spicy just went. <laughs> Woo. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I really, really appreciate it. I'm going to be farming flashpoints as much as I can before we stream on Saturday. I'm not too sure what's going to happen. If I don't find the two keyed flashpoint, then then uh, we'll take a vote as to what we want to do. And perhaps this Saturday might be the last day that we stream BXE, depending. All right, so it's going to be up to you. So we're going to hold that poll very early in this stream. So uh, hopefully we'll see you there that as we said, the next time we're going to be streaming is on Saturday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same bun time, same bun channel. We'll be back again with BEXCE. It will hopefully be a whole lot of fun. Bunnies, this is definitely one of the highlights of my entire day. So thank you so much. I hope you all have wonderful, wonderful evenings. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one. Have a good night.